Ah! Hello! Hi! Welcome! I hope everyone is having a good Saturday. Uh, it is the first stream of the new year! Uh, let me just greet everyone. Uh, hello mage! On my way home back from night tasks, see you soon. Hope you enjoy your tasks. Um, Marigold, that is me. <laughs> uh, Doro, welcome. Freya, welcome. Sardus, welcome. Uh, Soleil, welcome. Uh, Bubby, welcome. And uh, Chimera Cauldron, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Also, you've seen a new thing uh, that I worked on. Um, I, ha I now have a... Uh, a slideshow for my for my backdrop. This before this was um this was all things within OBS and my source this this talk screen was a complete mess because it was all live objects that I had instead of a flattened a flat image. Um and I have more art now than I have room for, and so I wanted to make a make this a slideshow instead. Jeeple, welcome. Laura, welcome. Happy New Year streaming Marigold. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone for uh, coming out. Um, so I did mention uh, that there's uh, redeems. Uh, I haven't turned any of them on yet. Uh, I mean, I suppose I can turn on one or two, but one of them is... <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 st I'll start kind of turning them on as, as we go. Um, one second. Yeah, the very, the very, very exciting um, stretch <laughs> and hydrate. Uh, but you can see that I changed the um, the channel points. These are now um, these are now buttons. These are these are what you spend. You uh, slam some buttons down on the counter, and uh, <laughs> you wait until we all have a one million points until we turn them on. Yeah. Oh, posture check. Oiter, <laughs> come on! I literally just turned those on. Come on, I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I'm dinking. I'm dinking that oiter. I dank some oiter, and I. Ugh. Yeah, posture posture check is important to me because like stretch stretches stretch is good, but um, I think I slouch too much is my problem. Good to start strong. Yeah, thank you. I'm dinking that waiter. Yeah, um, the buttons were an idea I've had for a while. I'll, I'll start... I think the next time I stream I'll hopefully have um, uh, bit badges and uh, subscriber uh, badges as well. Um, probably be a little bit until I have emotes, just because I am... Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, a perfectionist <laughs> in a way that's I need to get over. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my new microphone. Um, it's, I have no, there's no, we're done, we're done with the, with the bad audio from, from previous. I did a bunch of tests. Um, it's louder. Like everything is a lot louder because I think I was, my streams were a lot quieter. Um, than everyone else's. I think people have been pointing that out. So um, my volume is a lot louder, and things have been brought up um, to compensate. But I think everything is is pretty balanced. I've done I've done a lot of um, audio testing. Um, so unless, unless something is like absolutely horrendous, I probably probably won't be doing that many tweaks during the stream, just because I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment. <laughs> Because it's been a week since I've done this last. <laughs> um, it's been agents, and I still haven't done my emotes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was reassured by uh, Doro telling me that it took it took her a little bit. Because I remember, I don't know. I'm just just thinking about it now. There's like a lot of streamers that I know that like it took them a while to get their first emotes going, but like it's. I have one rule for everyone else, which is they're, it's fine and they're allowed, and I have another rule for me, which is I need to go to jail if I don't do a thing. <laughs> but 
then you redid all your emotes, exactly. Like, knowing that you redid your emotes... Also, look at this art. This is new. Yeah, knowing that you redid your emotes is making me feel a lot better, because I can just redo it, it doesn't matter. It's... The, the process is a pain, and it it takes... <laughs> it, the process is a pain of, like, uploading, but yeah. But yeah, that's that's what I hope to work on. Uh, uh, bit uh, bit badges and um, subscriber badges next. I have, I have some ideas. Um, but I think the channel points that was a good a, a good way of like um, reacclimating myself to working small. Like I drew these at 500 pixel squares, and then I scaled them down a bit. But yeah, I think they're I think they're pretty readable. At least on my screen. Um, what have you guys been up to? I had an insane uh, afternoon, I guess. I was hanging out with Doro. We watched movies. We watched the uh, 1973 Robert Altman uh, The Long Goodbye. And then we watched Arsenic and Old Lace, which is a um, Frank Capra film from 19 the, the 40s. Pew pew! Farmsteads, welcome! Um, but yeah, uh, you finished Bochi last night with Joan? I need... Dor Doro, we need to watch Bochi. We need to finish Bochi. Doro, we need to finish Bochi. We still haven't finished Bochi. <laughs> All the people that I watch with, um, I don't know, December's been hard. I haven't finished it still! I, ha I still haven't finished it! I'm, I didn't want to bring it up because I was having too much fun watching movies with you. And also, the Papatan OP for some reason. <laughs> we should have watched that today. I know, I know, but I didn't want to put into movie time. That, that wasn't your doing. It's it's December. It's it's hard to, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was your doing. Oh yeah, the Papatan thing. That was your doing. That was your fault. Uh, we watched that because um, uh, it's the same. The person that directed that is the same person that directed and storyboarded the Oni Mai OP. Oh, Ilya, Mage, welcome. Mage, I hope you enjoyed or are done with your tasks. I hope you got some treats. Yeah, uh, Akio Watanabe. Exactly. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I I can start adding some new... So, all done night tasks. Did you go out to get some snacks? <laughs> Just got a Fortnite dub and a Marigo stream spoiled today. Oh, that's awesome. I'm really happy, really happy to hear that. <laughs> Putting this on my big TV while I make Gumpla. That's my afternoon. Nice. Oh, Kojinu, welcome. Look, it's your art. It's here. This is this is why I asked for your um the art at full res, because Twitter was like 40 kilobytes. <laughs> um and it was I wanted to show it off in a nice quality. So thank you for sending that on, Kojinu, and thank you for drawing me again. And uh, we have uh, Jones Art here as well, Chimera Cauldron, who's in chat. Um, both, I don't know, I feel really lucky to have so many nice people drawing me. Thank you. You're drawing too? Awesome! I, I had a really fun time watching watching your stream. Sorry, I, I, I never really chat too much in, in people's stream. I'm always very quiet. Yeah, um, Bubby, what, what you building? What you, what you working with? At some point, I do want to do a um, a hand cam uh, Gumpla stream. I feel like that'd be that'd be fun. But also, uh, <laughs> I would need to have everything kind of pretty locked down. You try to keep it chill so anyone can speak up the f if they feel up to it. That's that's a nice way of going about going about doing it. Oh, you're building the China guy, right? We both have the same. We both have the same one. Thank you for sending me the link to it, by the way. <laughs> or, 
yeah, you sent me the link to it, and then I, I, I delete our lead, which is what I usually do when I have to spend money on something, and it was on Amazon. <laughs> so I just, I got it on Amazon, still. Thank you for letting, thank you for telling me, hey, it's probably still here, because I would not have thought to check, I would have just assumed it was, uh, not available there. That might be something, that might be something that I built, um, because I do want to pick a fairly simple thing. Uh, for my first, for my first, uh, first build. I don't know if it's a good idea to do my first, uh, my first Gumpla, uh, on stream. I know Picky had a Gumpla stream recently, but, um, I'm not sure if that was, like, the first, uh, Gumpla that she built. It seems, like, kind of, honestly, kind of nerve-wracking to build it on stream for the very first time. They still reprint stuff from the 2000s occasionally, so they're not usually... Gone forever. Right, yeah. Entry grade uh, grandpa. He's like 10 bucks. What is an entry grade grandpa? Um, what was I gonna say? I'm sorry if I if I come across as like scattered uh, the stream because I have a lot of a lot more stuff going this stream than I did uh, previous streams and also it's been over a week. The last stream I had was the 28th. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone had a, had a happy new year. Um, I'm trying to think if I did anything since then. If I did any Discord streams since. I think I did one Discord stream. That was where I played um, a Zachtronics game. <laughs> that is uh, escaping my mind. The people that can stream Zachtronics games are stronger than God, um, because I felt like history's... I, I felt like God's most special little idiot. <laughs> well, uh, it wasn't Molek Sintes, but that wouldn't be a bad idea, because I feel like I'm a little bit more familiar with Molek Sintes. It was, um... Also... Oh my god. <laughs> Ilya. And thank you for the gift sub to, to Chimera Cauldron. Thank you for the gift sub to Joan. Thank you. Gosh, thank you so much, Ilya. Also, Shelter Mix. Hello, welcome. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't Malik Sintes. It was. Um, uh, it was. It was the fucking alchemy one. <laughs> uh, I will. I will make proper emotes at some point to give people something to post. I have never been more frazzled than playing two card games at once, and I think that's comparable. Yeah, that's dream. Um, but yeah, something that I wanted to check in with people, because I didn't really know how to price, because obviously these aren't the only redeems that I have. Um, I didn't know how to price these, because I thought I would have assumed that Twitch has some way of letting you um, see what the bits economy was like, and it turns out that they don't, that they don't have a way of, of doing that. Um, there's something called, like, smart points, or something like smart prices, and it, I, I don't know, I don't like that, I'd, I'd rather set it automatically. Um, as long as emote edit is cheap, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, the, um, what, what, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I, I'll, I will turn off smart, smart pricing. Do not worry about that. I, it, I, I took one look at that and I thought, oh, this is bollocks. I, I'm not, I don't want to fuck with this. Um, okay, Ilya. All right, you settle down. You go to beating off. Or bearing off or whatever. Whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, what, 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 what are people's, um, what are people's channel point situations like? <laughs> yes, Ilya Inaki used ad permit to turn beating off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but what how how many how many buttons are people working with? One and a half K? You you know Doro, you little shit. You know what this is. Okay, I will set it I'll set it at a thousand. You're at two and a half K? Okay. I will I will I will turn on small animal noise. 
and I will turn on something else, which is show and tell. But, um... Wah! Wah! Thank you for the small animal, animal noise. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's what's gonna happen. Also, small animal noise is, um... Wah! <laughs> Farmsteads, thank you for the small animal noise. Um, <laughs> this is a noise that I make when I, I call my partner when when we first call each other. I just we just wah, wah, at each other. So that is small animal noise, and that is the noise that I make when you pick me up and squeeze me like a little stress ball. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so. I get to move over to this screen now, uh, and this is something that I've been working on for a little bit. So, you have tugged on my overall dress, and you've, you've, you've begged me. It's like, teacher, I'm tired of playing, I want to just watch something. And so I, 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 I groan, I sigh, I make a little, I make, I make a play at, um, making a little, a, a stink about it. But I indulge you, and I will out. Uh, the VHS, uh, the CRT um, combo unit that we have in our school, because I'm an art teacher, I'm a teacher, or whatever. Um, drop snack into her enclosure. Thank you, thank you, Bubby. Thank you for the bits. I need to, <laughs> I need to um, fix, uh, or not fix. I need to like get my um, get that redeem looking a little bit nicer because that's just the standard basic. TV time, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so this is, um, as you know, I'm working on Linux. Um, Linux doesn't have out of the box. Discord does not have screen share audio on Linux. And for a long time, I've had like a little backlog of like things that I've wanted to share uh, with people um, that I just, I can't do because um, I'm I'm not I'm not smart enough to figure out Discord screen share audio. Um, I just I just need a new PC and maybe just work with Linux in a virtual machine uh, for for like the future because I really like Linux. I like doing most of my computing in Linux. I started using it um, more out of necessity than anything else. I had a hard drive failure at the start of uh, lockdown. Western Stock Eye, Amos, thank you for uh, thank you for popping in. Thank you for. Uh, moseying on down to my stream and uh, hit me up with a, a little yeehaw. I, I was watching your stream earlier, it was fucking incredible. You, you did a really good job at that. Um, you know someone on co-host who's trying to resolve Discord audio stuff on Linux? Yeah, it's really... It's it's a lot to work with, but I feel like I've, I've dilly-dallied around enough. Um, so we are going to... I will just turn off what we're listening to. Um, because we're going to watch something. And for atmosphere, I'm going to uh, dim the lights and remove this. And where's my title? Here's my title. Here's my title. OK. Um, so we're going to watch um, something called, uh, let me see, Shungle and Mongol. Uh, which is a, <laughs> yeah, movie half day at school, exactly. This my quips. Yeah, thank you very much to um, Ilya Anonymous, I think is the name on it. Ilya Anonymous? I'm not, I'm not sure who that is. Anonym, Anonymous, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much to uh, Wasn't Me. Yeah, you, you cop to this. I can, I can leak your DMs. You cop to, you cop to this. Um, but yeah, I, Long, long, long roundabout way of saying that I wanted to do um, Discord movie nights, and this isn't movie nights. Like, uh, basically, I have a playlist of these that are um, anywhere from around three to fifteen minutes uh, in length, and these can be redeemed. I think I have a limit of them set to like twice a stream, and about two hour delay on them. Um, so they can't be redeemed like in close succession. Um, 
there's some stuff in there that's like 30 minutes long. The way that stuff will probably work is it will kind of be, we'll watch like the first 15 and then the next time someone redeems it, we'll watch the the, the back half of it. Um, but yeah, this is, um, uh, I need to remember to mute desktop audio for this because I have browser as a separate source. And how do people feel about like me me talking during this? If you want to hear me me talk about something that's going on, yeah, this is a this is an Iranian animation. It's um it's a Persian folktale. Um, and it's it's a, an Iranian animation that's like it's like stop motion using um oh. <laughs> Sofa Sophia, thank you very much for following. Teacher can talk. Okay, teacher can talk. All right. I didn't know. I just didn't know if it was uh, if it was rude. Um, but yeah, you can find all the stuff that we're gonna watch on YouTube. Um, I'm going to have a um, a channel in my Discord if somebody reminds me to do that, um, where people can. It won't be a um, a request thing. It'll be more of a suggestion, a suggestion box for these, because uh, I have to screen things and make sure that they're a good fit. Like nothing too meme-y, um, nothing like too recent. Want me to make it just now? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I prefer to do it myself. Thank you, thank you, though. Thank you for, for asking. Can we submit that hot dog shooter? No, nothing too meme-y. I've, also, I've seen that. <laughs> I've seen that. I, I, I genuinely want to show stuff off that I think is, like, cool or, like, interesting. Um, but I feel I feel like I've, I've dilly-dallied um, enough. And uh, I might just... One second... Start playing. How is the uh, the audio, by the way? Sounds good. Perfect. The Molemania speedrunner world record is going to come in and be very confused. I hope they do. I've 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 watched that. I've watched that um the world record video. I've, I think I followed them on Twitch as well. Miss, can I sit closer? Yeah, everyone everyone cried around this tiny fucking television. I'm I feel like an asshole for do, for for spending a lot of time like talking about like how I want to show stuff off and and I've said it in this tiny screen, but like I do like the affectation of. A, a tiny CRT, so this is just how it's going to be. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, this is an actual CRT, by the way. I made the control panel part wider to fit chat, but this is, if you look up a Panasonic a AG500, uh, this is real. TV looks good, thank you. Also, hello Raven, apologies if I didn't uh, greet you already. <laughs> Having a morning, uh, you know. <laughs> Need one of these on my desk? One of what? <sighs> I love the way you see the rug, like, moving around. As they're- oh, I don't know. There's something just really, like, tactile and pleasing about this. Oh, you mean the TV? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I think this is about 15 or 16 mass on, in case anybody is wondering. So this is um, the upper length of uh, what, we'll, what we'll kind of watch as uh, part of this redeem. cooldowns for the redeem yeah um uh two hours uh two hour cooldown yeah i wanted it low um but it is two hour cooldown uh no more than two uh two times per screen yeah i, I thought about this story <laughs> This video takes about as long as it takes to do 100 kanji reviews. Yeah, I, your kanji reviews was what I was thinking about when I was like pricing this out. Oh no, buddy. The little baby one. <laughs> this is a wolf. Oh, turquoise. You are? I am? That baby? Yeah, I suppose I am that baby. Baby goat. Oh. Sorry, I think I missed this message. Can you do a redeem on your channel to make Dora do a bunch of catch reviews? <laughs> yeah. I've been telling Dora she should do a redeem to uh to make her uh skip a day. Just so the the conjure reviews start piling up again. Legitimately, like, kind of scary. Like, the emotional realism of this is, like, pretty good. <laughs> Fucked up beast. You love the way this looks? Yeah! That's what really attracted to me, this- to this. Yeah, this is a crazy good animation style. It's insane that you don't see more stuff like this. As far from what I can tell, I think this is like traditional, um, traditional like Iranian kind of um, craft of some description. Teacher, why are you scared? It's not real. Listen, a teacher needs to have the imagination of a child in her heart, or whatever. Also, don't you grid no don't you pick your nose at me, you little shit. If I could figure out how to time add mods, I would. <laughs> She's dinking that oiter. Oh, 
Oh man, the where they turn around um, and they replace it with like two thinner pieces of like fabric. I know, like the turnaround animation is like really, really good. Yeah, like there's such a sense of like um. I was trying to figure out if this was like animated laid flat or if these were like kind of pinned up on a board. Oh, look at this! Look at this! <sighs> like yeah, the the foreground stuff that they're doing. <laughs> Snake has taken those eggs. So I like a lot of like um, the fact that this is like wordless, like animation. And look, there's a lot, there's a lot that you can convey with that, uh, with that, uh, with that language, which I like. Ah oh, man, that grass looks so good. I could go for some grass right now. Goat. Yeah. I'm some kind of hooved ungulate. Or does ungulate imply hooved? No! Oh shit. No! occurred to me that I did not pre-screen this. I do not have the sense. I'll see how the bird helped. Hopefully the wolf will win once. Ilya, you're Ilya, I'm gonna ban you from my channel. Oh my god. Oh, they're gonna split that wolf open. We're gonna. <laughs> What's up, puppy?
Everyone here is having a real normal time tonight. <laughs> having some real bad indigestion. Hope the mom Goomba stops them when they pop out, right? <laughs> Was gamer raging? <laughs> What's she doing? Oh, sharpening her horns, I guess. Normal time tonight, just like last night? I have no idea what you mean. I was very normal last night. Pig. Oh! Oh wow, she stuck him good. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Seeing that someone you remember and I've seen this before. Oh, Crappy. Hello. Welcome. Aww. Her eggs. Her babies are back. Aww. <laughs> that crow's gonna go fucking harass that snake now. You'll be fed to birds. Never mess with Mama Marigold, or this will be you. Yeah. I'll fucking get you. With my claws. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that was awesome. I was really worried about doing something like this, but um, in the times, that, that, I feel like that worked really well. I did a lot of practice. Embroidered credits, yeah! I saw a Japanese stop-motion thing with needlessly based on the same kind of story, and it's a much darker, famous fairy tale. That ruled? Yeah, no, this is awesome. Um, I was a little bit worried about like how I would do something like this, and like, worried that if it was going to be kind of fiddly, um, but I don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil the next thing, so, ooh, where is, there, <laughs> um, I need to return on desktop audio, and we can turn the lights back on, and come back over to the game, yes, the game. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that worked out. There's a lot of stuff. Thank you for show and tell. Yeah, thank you for thank you for watching. That was that was awesome. Well, we'll get to the game now. But um, that was there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes there. Um, and I'm really glad everything worked out. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll we'll play we'll play. Oop, that's that's uh that's something else. Yeah, we'll play. Um, so I messed around with my audio a lot. I'm not going to be tweaking stuff on stream, unless it's like horrendously bad, but I don't think it will be, um, because I did a lot of like test recordings, um, but yeah, I presume everything is okay. I, I did, I am a, a little bit louder than I was previously because my mic is a lot better, 
Balance is good? Oh, awesome. That's great. Um... Oh, I didn't want to dig. Well, that's fine. Um, yeah, I have not played this game in... <laughs> over a year. Listen, I can make that joke once. <laughs> I can make that joke once. Okay. How do I do this again? Oh, don't you make that face at me, you little shit. But yeah, I hope everyone has been having a nice weekend so far. You sound great, and your volume is excellent. I don't have to crank the TV crazy high. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Um, I think people have been having to um, have me pretty loud um, because of how quiet I was before. Um, but yeah, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad everything sounds okay. <laughs> Cranks your TV crazy high, Samara Gochi is screaming at you. <laughs> yeah, I do this. Um... So here's where we left off last time. Um, these uh, these switches here will change the direction of a um, an item that's like pushed over it. Um, this barrel will uh, fill a hole, um, and essentially we're trying to get this this boulder to. Do I still have screen? Yeah, I do still have that. Yeah. Uh, so we're trying to get this boulder here, so it needs to pass over a hole. Me when I get a barrel. Yeah, that's right. We'll, we'll put you in a barrel. Don't you worry. We'll put you in a barrel and roll you off a, uh, in the Niagara Falls. Like, uh... I'm not sure if anybody here has seen Arsenic and Old Lace, which is a fucking Cary Grant, like, uh comedy crime movie from the 40s, but like, I forgot everyone in the 40s is like, getting committed to sanitariums and also going to Niagara Falls for their honeymoons. I thought you were gonna say Rover Dangerfield. <laughs> why would- why would me and Dora be watching Rover Dangerfield? This sounds like some shit that we do though. Many of media of that time features both sanitariums and Niagara Falls. Uh, um, okay. So how do I... let me see. Okay. So I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to jig some stuff around here. The problem is, is this is like a pretty enclosed space. This is a... 3x2 grid. Um, these walls on the sides, they can't be passed. These holes at the bottom, um, if a bar if if the boulder kind of goes over them, like see if here for example, it'll just go in the hole and it'll kind of end up in its spawn position. Um, so I think yeah, this is this is kind of tricky. I think in order to get past this. Basically, in order to get this boulder over to this block here, what I have to do is I have to fill at least one of these holes. Um, actually, no, I think I need to fill specifically this one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, let's just reset the room and just see what the, um, what the room configuration was before we started messing around with it. Um, Yeah, sorry if anybody is um, was planning on watching Arsenic and Old Lace, but uh, the me and Dora realized like right at the end of the movie that it was basically about like um, the hereditary nature of criminal insanity, <laughs> um, which is very which is very funny. Um, and also, fucking Boris Karloff is in that movie, and everyone's constantly saying that, like, oh yeah, this this guy looks kind of like Boris Karloff. <laughs> Which is very funny. Uh, between that and um, Peter Lore being in that movie, Peter Lore, a guy I know from growing up in the 90s and, like, 
watching Animaniacs because it was like constantly making Peter Lore references, like fucking eight year olds knew what Peter Lore was. I mean, I guess the reason that they made Peter Lore references was because old Bugs Bunny cartoons made re made Peter Lore references, but that was contemporaneous or closer to the time. But uh, no, nobody that age was watching like fucking Casablanca or whatever. Maybe Dora though. I can see Dora doing that. Marigold, what's your Sonic OC? Um, I don't have a Sonic OC. I do have a Sonic uh, Kin, which is the. Um, I think her name is Belle from the um, the 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 recent. <laughs> Dora, who, who is the um? Wh who are the comics that Belle is from? She's like a um, she's like a mechanical doll. She's a puppet. IDW Sonic. Yeah, that's 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 me. I was thinking briefly that um Marigold would have a key on her back, but um maybe for like the 3D model, that's that's gonna be a fucking pain to draw. I'm not gonna do that shit. You can imagine it, it's there. Also, what's your Marigold brand snacks? They'll be distributed worldwide. Um I think they're like potato sticks, not like chip sticks, but like potato sticks that are salt and vinegar and come in a tube. Um, and they are enough to strip the skin from the sides of your, uh, the corners of your mouth. And they're called, I don't know, marigo sticks or whatever. In my mind palace, thinking of Steampunk Doro. Why are you thinking of Steampunk Doro? I mean, I'm always in my mind palace thinking about Doro, but that's just me. I will make you Marigold 3D in three years when I chop my hands off a robot ones. Yeah, you need to you need to mind your hands. Because I know what you're I know what you're like. Um Okay. I think I think I want to try something. I think I want to try to make a path down the center. Um, how will I get this to work? So I can push this down here. Um, let me see. No, that does not. You can't do that that way. Um. Let me see. Oh, this one's tricky. What, uh, what items do we have here? No items. Okay. Nothing. Nothing to work with. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure how much left or how much of this game we have left, but I would like to see if I can try to at least get up to like the last uh, the last stage. Um, because I definitely want to see if I can complete, uh, more games on stream. Um, because I think I had two, uh, two full, uh, months of streaming, of streams last, uh, last year. Because I started, um, October 30th. That's when I had my first stream. And I played, um, Super Castlevania 4 because I was trying to do, uh, Dots um, classic Vania challenge, which obviously I didn't. I didn't finish. Obviously, um, but I want to get back to that. Uh, I want to finish uh, Super Castlevania Four. Um, I think we finished about four games or something. Mostly Game Boy stuff. We finished Nubo. Um, we finished. Banishing Racer. Uh, we finished that fucking Flintstones game we played on stream. So yeah, I think it's been three or four games we finished so far on stream. Uh, everything is uh, archived, by the way. I, I, I save all my streams as highlights. So the VODs are there, but anything further back from this point is just gonna have shit audio. <laughs> I mean, it's not unlistenable, but I, I personally have a hard time listening to it. Um, 
And it's also mixed quieter, so if you happen to be watching earlier <laughs> earlier streams and uh, it goes on to like this, anything from here forward, it is going to jump up in volume all of a sudden, and I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I can't pull these once they're in a corner. I can only push these. Let me, let me think. And I don't think I can push these into empty holes. I'm gonna reset the room because I feel like I've, uh, I feel like I've missed this. I feel like I'm gonna spend like 50 minutes on this one thing, and then every subsequent level is just gonna take me like five minutes. I need to think like a mole. I need to become mole. Enter that mole mindset. It's really what I don't want to do. Let me see. Let's try it this way. Um, I want to try and see if I can get this out here. Uh, I think this is. I think this is it. Let me. Let me try. No. Will this? No, it'll go straight there. Okay. Nah. Bummer. Sorry. <laughs> add, add permitted term, con. Sex-based term. Uh, one second. <laughs> Sorry, I know nobody else can see those messages, but that's that's still very funny to me. I feel like... Uh, I feel like I feel like I have it. I feel like that is close. If Like, if this, for example, if it just rolled to a stop here... Oh! I know how I get it to roll to a stop. I need to not not move these out of the way yet. Um, like I need to leave one of them in the center. So how do I? Let me see. So I think we do what we just did, except we don't push this one off to the side. Oh wait, will that work? Um, actually, yes, yes. Um, one second. Nope, that wasn't what I want to do. Um, okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, I think we. Uh, I think we. We got it. Yeah, got it. Okay, that didn't take me as much to time as I worried it would. Awesome. Okay. Hoo ah. Hoo ah. Hoofa doofa. What do we have here? Let me uh dig underground. That was my favorite thing to do. I wanted to, um, a redeem that I haven't added is I wanted to, oh, Kojinu, yes, Oider, thank you. I will have a sip of Oider, thank you. Thank you for Oider. <sighs> um, definitely not something that I'm going to do because this is just, like, the mole model. I will still, I'll use this for, like, a good bit afterwards because I put a lot of time into it. I'm really proud of it, but, um... Teacher, why did you add a 30 minute timer on water? Because I don't want you I don't want to be going up to the fucking bathroom every like fucking 20 minutes during a stream. <laughs> I don't need to have water any more than that. Alright. <laughs> Buster. Hang on, let me one second. Klaus. Hey, who the fuck is this person that just has Guri emotes? Did they draw this? That's just funny to me. Be a lot cooler if you did. Oh, come on, that's your redeem, okay? 
you're gonna get a term a TOS if you do that redeem. The flower in the grass. Uh, yeah, I was gonna have like. Um, sorry, I need to mind my volume. Uh, I was gonna have a um, like a like a watering can like pours over me. Like that's 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 what oiter is when you uh, cloud is a big guru fan. Okay. I always just find it kind of funny when people um, have like I don't know other VTubers as like I don't know it, it's funny. I'm not saying it's like bad or not loud or whatever. It's just funny. Um, okay, let me just try and see if I can read this room here. Um, yeah, I think these arrows will keep me from doing anything in the periphery, because as soon as I do, it'll kind of just go to the center. So I think what I need to do is... I need to push out two barrels. Um, but is getting in there that is going to be the tricky thing, because these are... Let me see. Hmm. I don't think I thought this through. Mad Mad Margi sixteen Amelia Watson laugh. Okay. All right. Was it Was it her birthday recently or something? Was it Ame's birthday? Mad go 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 gold. Yeah. See, this is this is what happens if I pull it from there. So I need to. uh... Whoa, ah, no. Okay, no, I need to reset this room. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, sorry, I've been really scatterbrained on this stream. Um, I wanted to, there was another redeem that I wanted to have, but um, I wanted to have like, um, like Amber's um, uh, fishy, fishies redeem, but it's for, um, Feeding me some gummy worms because I'm a mole. Mariko? 16 pig? What did you mean by this? Um, actually, funnily enough, the design that I had literally right before. Um, Kojinu, Kojinu has seen this, but the design that I had right before this was, um, was a pig. Um, okay, mage, you, you take it to beating off. Does this destroy this? No, it doesn't. Oh, fuck. Okay. So that that doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, the design that I had before this was, uh, was a pig. Like, uh, I went through a lot of different designs. And who knows? Who knows? I might end up having a pig form at one point. That's the nice thing about, um... About, um... What I ended up going with. Is just... Funny creature with the base design. That can be a lot of different things. Which is good for me as somebody who's like criminally indecisive. Pig tuber. Um I don't know if I want to post it to the Discord or not. Um partially because I kinda wanna see if I can save save this for a stream. Um, like Doro did. Um If you didn't know, Doro did a um Dora did a art review stream where she went through all of the, all of the different Dora designs. Uh, because I bugged her to do this, uh, even I think before she started uh, like streaming, <laughs> um, I bugged her to do that because I want because some genius told me to. Yeah, I wonder who. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I want to um, post it just yet because I kind of want to save it as a surprise. Um... Will I let one of these out, maybe? Does that do anything for me? Let me see... Uh... No, I can't... Hmm... One second. Okay. Uh... Let me see... I'm trying to make the, the lead time for these, like, a little bit longer, so I can actually, like, get in here. Ah. 
Nah. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 I shouldn't have- Ah, uh, I shouldn't have dug there. Maybe that's gonna be fine? Maybe? Okay, just trying to- trying to make a bath. Okay, wait for that to go by. Okay. I'm gonna push this up. So what I can do is... So does this dig? Yeah, that digs. Okay. Duh. Okay. There we go. Okay, not as not as complicated as I was making it. Pig tuber for Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Did uh did Graffy play this? I was watching some of her um old streams uh this morning. Um I was watching Yes, oh she did play this? Okay. I was watching It was literally right after Clock Tower. Um, she played... What the fuck was it? It was like it was like some kind of horse game for like the uh, Genesis. Uh, for the Mega Drive. I can't figure out what it was now. Hmm. Crystal Pony Adventure. Yes, yes, it was Crystal Pony Adventure. Which is very, very funny. <laughs> or something like that, yeah, hmm. Yeah, I certainly didn't see a... Uh... A certain someone in chat. <laughs> it's fun seeing. It's fun seeing people. I don't know, friends. <laughs> uh, from streams that that far back. I don't know. It's fun. Ah, piss. I forgot it would. It wouldn't go in a straight line. I need to reset the room. Yeah, you weren't there. I'm talking about um. I'm talking about uh, stunts. Uh, let me see. Okay. Wah! Wah! I need to mind my volume when I do that. Also, I think I need to add a limiter <laughs> onto, um, onto my whole situation because, uh, I think I went into the red. Hello. <laughs> Wah! Hazel, Benui, thank you for the small animal noise. Thank you for f chucking 500 buttons my way. <laughs> um... Yeah, here's what happens if I if I do this. That's not good. Um, yeah, pelting me with buttons. Let me see. Hmm. I think I know what to do. Oop. Okay. So essentially, I need to push this around because the this weight um, isn't influenced by the um, like the weight doesn't follow these uh, these buttons. So I need to figure out how to get this to. I think if I get it to stop here, one second. Okay, and then throw it behind me and down. I think that's right. And then... Okay. Um... <laughs> Thank you for the small animal noise. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you... What are you howling about? <laughs> um... These are buttons. Eventually I want the... Um, the bit badges and the subscriber uh, badges to be um, craft or like board game piece uh, themed in some way. Um, buttons are like a character's design motif that I like quite a lot, but also they are a currency in a game called uh, Patchwork in a board game called Patchwork that I like quite a lot. Um, I've been playing that with friends, introducing that to friends lately. Um, it's a it's a really cute game. Um, if I if I figured out a way to make it work, I definitely would uh, like to play board games on stream. But I would str 
struggle, I think, to keep track of everything else going on during that. Um, I, I, th I think I wouldn't be able to figure, figure out how to... Um, people, people that can um, stream at the same time as uh, playing a board game, they're, they're, they're the, real, uh, the real geniuses. Okay, what is this path up here? Also, it just occurs to me that I've reset the room down there, so... Oops. <sighs> yeah, I've reset that room. Paper bag streams himself play Kingdom Death. He's a legend. Um, I'm not familiar with Kingdom Death. Um... Ah, oh, yeah, I've reset this room. God damn it. Uh, but that's fine. I think it was, uh, fairly... Fairly obvious. What I was, what I did here the last time. Um, Ilya, why would I know something as Coomer Death? Can you please can you run that by me, please? Coomer Death, Ilya, mods? I would say mods, but you're my mod. It has incredible sexy wind models and men too, actually. Okay, alright, you settle, settle down, Jesus Christ. We will put you in the stocks, you'd be flogged with whips. Alright, here's where we left off. Um, let me see if I... Okay, I think I know what to do. So, yes. Yes, haha! Yatta! So, how do I. Huh. Uh, wait, are these. Oh, wait, no, these are attainable. I just. Uh, I, I'm being silly. One second. So, I think if I leave and re enter. Uh, I have 13 cabbages right now. So yeah, I just need to... Hole management, important concept in this game. Also also important, uh, cabbage management. Because you get a, um... You get a... You gain back a quarter of your health. Or like a, a quarter health. For every cabbage. So here we have, uh, for every... Every fifth, every multiple of five cabbages you collect. And so here we've uh, regained a quarter of a, of a health. Okay. I'm Big Mama. Me and my kids love to play underground. We'll be waiting for you. Um, so here's the, uh, here's the boss of this stage. Uh, I didn't realize we were this far into uh, level 5. Um, but this is... Something that to me is kind of attempting to mirror us a little bit. There was one more cabbage. Yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving that. Um, probably won't have to. Um, yeah, because I was I was saying that like I would try to. Um, I mean, I think I, the only reason that I would need to go for cabbages is score, and I don't really care about score. Um, so I, I might see if I can save that. Um, but I would need four other cabbages. I don't know, it's, it's probably not worth it to save it, but I'll just leave it for the time being. Um, because there is a, a one-up on the stage that I can find. Actually, let me do a little bit of backtracking to see if there's any items that we've missed, because there definitely is items that we've uh, missed. Okay, so there's the potion. So potion is actually good. Uh, potion is um, essentially just a a one-up, basically. Um, not a one-up, rather. Um, if we use it um, when we have, like... It, it, it replenishes our health. Sorry, I, I couldn't figure out a way to say that. <laughs> Wait. Why was she, uh... Why, why was that, there that sign here? We'll be waiting for you. Have I have I backtracked? Is this near this? I don't have a map yet. <laughs> um, this feels like the beginning of this stage, actually. Hmm. 
Yeah, this looks like the beginning of the stage. Let me let me go around in a circle. Yeah, I've I've been through all this, but uh, I'll see if there's anything that I've uh, missed. I mean, there definitely is stuff that I've missed, but I want to see if I can find it. Um, but yeah, speaking of um, buttons and uh, the game Patchwork, uh, I've been getting back into uh, board games recently. Um, I was playing uh, Alien Frontiers, which is a pretty good dice placement uh, game. Uh, and I've been playing um, a game called uh, The Castles of Mad King Ludwig, which is a, like, a tile-based castle building game. Uh, both of those are really good. Um, I revived my- oh, there is, um, there is the- an item there. Okay. I revived my ancient, um, board game geek account. <laughs> um, and let me tell you, I really appreciate when a website gives you the ability to, uh, change your username. Um, because up until very recently, Board Game Geek did not give you the option to do that. <laughs> Literally only until 2020. And it's a stupid process. You have to, like, uh, send a message to a moderator. Um, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, yeah, you, so you send a message to, like, a, a site admin or whatever. But it was very quick. I did not have to spend any money to do so, unlike other websites. And I, you can actually do it, unlike, like, Spotify, Steam, like, I cannot change my username on there. That's still, like, my, my dead name on both of those websites. And, uh, I managed to change my name on Letterboxd, but I had to make a premium account to do that and give them, like, a, a, a year subscription or something in order to do so. Um, so, yeah, hats off to Board Game Geek for, um, for a website that is, like, held together with, like, fucking tape and glue. Um, I don't know, it was more than I would, more than I can give them credit more than more than I would expect from from uh from them. <laughs> my parents blessed their heart, made my first Steam account be my full legal name back in 06 or whatever. Me too, bud. <laughs> my my, par my parents didn't do this. I just did this myself because I'm smart. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it used to be a thing where I was like, yeah, surname uh, full name, first name, surname, initial. That was my username in a lot of places. Until stupidly recently, I'm still coming across accounts I have with uh, with that username. Uh, is this? Yes, yes. I think. Okay. So what is here? Ha! Ah, okay. So we found the item. Okay. Good. So this tells us. This is useless without the map, but this would tell us where what all the different rooms are. I was the kid when the thing popped up, get your parents' permission. I made my mom or dad click the pop-up, Ilya. <laughs> Buddy. I forced my way to having Kojinu pretty much everywhere. Yeah, it's... I definitely think pseudonym uh, everywhere. That's That's the way to go. That's the way to do it. One of my first usernames online was my dead name backwards. Oh no. Miss also Musui, hello. If you um if you said hi earlier, apologies if I uh if I missed you. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Hope you've been having a a good uh good morning. You just wake up? Oh, you just woke up, cool. Uh you just woke up. I'm going in a, a big a big fucking circle here. But uh, that's fine. This is usually what I uh, what I end up doing. Is there anything? Oh, so if I, how do I? Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I see Marigold before I put pants on. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Oh, I I I meant to I meant to tell you. I really love your first um. Your first emote, it looks great. Or not your first emote, um, because I think you you have others, but I, I like your new emote at least. 
It looks great. Oh! Item. Thank you. Watching new Marigold stream, the one for the Wii, I watch with my pants around my ankles. Yeah, some people are like, want a, um, an oral history of that. But I mean, what, what is there to say about that post? You know? He plays Kanoa with his pants around his ankles. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. Me too, bestie. Okay, now, you... You've been really fucking rowdy today. What, what is up with you? Do I need to get, like, the hose? Do I need to get... Not, not you, mage. Ilya. I don't even have pants, so you can tell I'm just joking. Yeah, you're joking. Bottomless Marigold Viewing Party. Now, come on! Don't you fucking soggy biscuit my stream, alright? I'll get the hose. <laughs> I zip up. Jesus Christ. You calm down. <laughs> no. Okay, alright. Jesus, settle down. Jesus Christ. Okay. So yeah, just doing some backtracking to see if there's anything that we've missed. There are some cabbages here, but I'm at full health, so I don't need to go for those. I just want to save the cabbages from when I'm uh, in a place where I need health. Uh, let me dig down. Nothing down here. Ilya, you pause. Ilya's emotes are some of the most insane emotes on Twitch. Ellie is also mole since she keeps digging herself into a hole. <laughs> oh. This is her favorite activity. She loves doing this. She loves digging a, just a big old hole for herself and just getting right in and cozy. Okay, yeah, I think we're right back to where we started the stream. So yeah, we definitely did go in a big, big circle. Yes, there is this thing up here. Yes, okay. Huh? Hmm? 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 Huh? Hmm? 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 Huh? Hmm? 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 Okay. All right. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> little sprite bouncing in sync. Ah, <laughs> hmm? uh, okay, let me see. Let me give this a look. Okay, I think I kind of know what I need to- oh! I think I, I think I might have missed this room up. I just want to see what the starting configuration of it is. No, uh, other other option. Mm, okay. Wait, that was the last. 
Ah, uh, I have to go back to it. Yeah, because it was right here. Yeah, sorry, the last cleared room. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I need to... I'm just trying to think, how do I... Okay, so I think I need to... I'm, I'm pointing at my screen. Uh, I need to actually point at my screen with the cursor. So I think I need to push this down here so that I have room to push this backwards. Um, and then, then I can get it pushed out. I think. Uh, let me see. Yeah, let's let's try to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for you to go by, gonna wait a cycle. Okay. That's what I want to do. Okay. Uh, maybe pull this back one. I think. Yes, I think that's what I want to do. Uh, hmm. Actually, bah! That's fine. That's fine. I think this is what I want to do. Maybe have this here. Uh, dig down. Come up. Oh, there's 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 health here. That's fine. Kojinu, thank you for redeeming small animal noise. Ah. Oh, I just realized I remembered something. Um, there's one more redeem. It's a little bit pricey. It's for high rollers only. You know, it's important to have uh, some low level stuff, uh, some of the basic maintenance stuff like uh, stretch and hydrate. Um, some more fun stuff, but uh, always important to have something for people that are uh, uh, the, the the gold card carrying members, shall we say? They get the the special service. I've just I've just enabled it. You have ten k points. I don't think you have enough points for this one. <laughs> yeah, you show off the new redeem. You try to show that off. <laughs> Time to save forever. So, um, I was bluffing. Yeah. Uh, the reason that this is, I wanted to give people a look at it. Um, if people are like on the bus or on your phone or for whatever reason can check, it is called Pull My Tail. It's pretty self explanatory. But it is um, a million points because I need to draw my model first um, in order to actually have this enabled. And also mess around with Sammy, I guess, but I could do it manually, but that's gonna kinda be a pain. I just kinda just want it to happen. But um basically I wanna have my tail be a GIF on a separate layer that's behind me. And for it to get swapped out with like a different version and a noise to play. And I get all indignant when you pull my tail. But I kinda like it. <laughs> Larpus, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Listen, we're all having fun here. And I'm allowed and I'm normal. <laughs> Only kinda like it. Yeah, exactly. Only kinda. Um Watery water water 
water. What are we doing here? Um, okay, so brick block is here. Boulder is here. <laughs> Tasing. Ilya, you're not going to tase yourself on stream. You'll get banned. <laughs> and certainly not uh, tase yourself so you piss yourself. You will get banned. I'm gonna see if it comes this way. No, it goes up, it just goes up. Yeah, you don't even have that available anymore. You're you're taking uh, Piss Valor or whatever. You're stealing Piss Valor. Um, so yeah, the only thing that we can do with this uh, this boulder is, um, is push it backwards like this. So I think what we need to do is we need to push this around to get it into position here to stop it from falling into uh, into that hole and then when it's here hmm. okay so I think I need to hole management again I always try to use a hole that's already down instead of uh, making a new one. Um, hmm, okay. So can I... I don't think I can come up through here. So I think I have to come up through here. Uh, let me see. Do buttons have different values depending on the type? Um... I think they're just different colors. Which is the not fun answer. But I, I think they're just different colors. Maybe, maybe they maybe they can be different. I don't know. Ah, piss. Ah, farts. I need to reset the room. Because uh, now it's against the wall, I can't do anything with it. There's a joke in here somewhere about playing with buttons, is there? Would you uh, like to share with the class? I don't see what's so funny about it. Can you uh, can you explain? Ah! Reset. Reset the room. I don't want to take damage. That's fine. God, I'm just thinking about like a, a speedrun of this game, which is probably going to be so execution heavy, it's like kind of unfun. <laughs> Seems like it'd be really stressful. You don't have any examples, I can't think of none. Weird. Very silent all of a sudden. Okay. So, I've done what I wanted to, so- Ah! Ah! Farts! God damn it. <laughs> Reset the room. Okay. Push your buttons just right and Marigold will do as you wish. Now what do you mean by that? I am my own mole. I don't answer to nobody. I just sit here in my dirt. And uh... Yeah, I just sit here in my dirt. Soda! Welcome! Thank you for the sub! How have you been? Welcome, Soda. You put her in the ground, she crawls in the direction she is facing, you cannot stop her. Yeah, I do this. Um... So, I'm going to push this... Okay. Everyone's okay. No panicking. Head like a mole. <laughs> uh, I think, I think this is right. Oh, this is this is a fun. This is kind of a fun stage. Okay. So, where do I push this next? So I think this goes. Uh, hmm. Uh. 
Let me see. I think so. We push it from here. It goes goes on a long roundabout journey, then here, and then we push it here. Um, then we dig down. Uh, let's let's just let's just yeah. One second. Bah. Okay. Yeah, the the music in this game is really good. Um, if anybody can check out Moby Games um, for me real quick, because I'm actually kind of curious who uh, who did the who did the the soundtrack or who who like composed the game uh, music. Uh, was I? Hang on. Was I supposed to have like pushed the Sausch? One second. Taro Bando. What uh? Do you know what else? What what other credits uh, they have to their name? I think that's fine. Yes, I think we're good. He's been at Nintendo since Mario Kart. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is like an internal, um, internally developed game. Like, a, a, it's a first party Nintendo game. Um, so yeah, it looks like, yeah, we have to get this boulder here to break this, uh, to break this block. Madigo Kart. F-Zero Composer. Most of his credits seem to be on Sam programming and supervising. Supervising. Cool. Well, yeah, I mean, the, this, uh, this game is a really fun soundtrack. Because I've been hearing, it, I've been hearing it a lot and it has not gotten uh, repetitive. Uh, which I can, I can say the same. I wish I could say the same for some of the other Game Boy games uh, that I've uh, that I played on the channel. Uh, some of the <laughs> uh, some of the Flintstones uh, stages in particular were, were pretty excruciating, and I think there's like one stage in particular of uh, Banishing Racer that was like I think one of the underwater stages was like I could I could see what they were going for. It was kind of unlistenable in practice. Um, Nothing, nothing but heaters, nothing but bangers back to back for this uh, for this game so far. Okay, um, let me see. So I think has so much swing. Yeah, yeah. Has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, pep and verve and personality. You listen to the whole OST at one point. Very good Game Boy soundtrack. Oh, that's awesome. I think I might have uh, fucked myself here. Because I think I don't want to have these in opposite corners. I need to have one of these um, pushed into where I am at the moment. Because I don't have a way of getting this out. Lunch Lurk. Amber! Hi, Amber. Hello, Mini Mo. Oh! Oh, I'm so small. Oh. Oh, you've redeemed little. No, that wasn't. <laughs> you've redeemed little. I become smaller. I become. small. Smaller. Weensy. I'm so tiny. Ooh. Ooh. That's that's gonna bug me because I'm not gonna be the right the same size that I originally was. <laughs> Hello, Amber. Hello, Madigo Smallest. Um, yeah, there will not be a redeem. Uh, 
base kept bigger. <laughs> there will not be a redeem to make me smaller, but there will be a redeem to um, turn me into other stuff eventually. <laughs> this minute. Alright. Alright, wait. Oh wait, no. Sorry, you cheered three bits this minute. This minute wasn't your message. This minute was the timestamp. You, you cheered uh, Weensy emote, the pinching. <laughs> I thought you were giving a demand. Yeah, uh, Doroth 60 Skosh or whatever. Uh, yeah, I need to reset this room. Also, Doro, thank you for the thank you for the bits. Now it's Abby. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I need to do something with like ducking or something. Oiter. Yeah, I will. I will have a oiter. Also, an okay guy. Welcome. How have you been? Um, yes, I will have TF victim redeems. Yes, that is that is exactly true. It's half. I didn't really have my design finalized just quite just yet, but I wanted a stream, which is why I've had all these PNGs. But also, uh, it's fun and I'm indecisive, so I get to be a lot of different stuff. So having a bunch of models that people can kind of switch between on the fly uh, seems seems pretty fun to me. You were uh, an okay guy. You were you're really getting your money's worth with this oiter. I'm enjoying the heck out of this oiter. I am full of big sleepy oiter. Okay. <clears throat> so I need to hop back in. And okay, so I think what I need to do is I need to push one of these down into this corner. Um, basically, I need to leave one of these corners free so I can kind of um, so I have space to like push this out. Basically, um, I'm just trying to think what is the best way of going about doing this. I think it's much of a muchness. I don't think it matters. Alt mode ping tubing is great. Can confirm. Yeah, I love your um, I love your dragon koja, and your regular koja. Although, which one is the regular? Who's to say? So I definitely don't want to. Okay, I think I think I have something to try. We can we can work with this. So down? No! Uh, wait, is this... <clears throat> that might be... No, that's not... Uh, wait, no, I might be able to work with that? That might be doable? A little bit of waiting with this game sometimes with, like, the cycle stuff, but that's, uh, that's okay. I don't have a lot of bad things to say about this game. will be flattened. Yeah, Marigo Pancake. Okay. Ah! Dang it. Okay, okay, all right. I'm being impatient. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> all right. I need to not take damage there. That's that's silly. If you finish a, a room, it kind of uh, it basically saves you with the health that you have. Or if I if I like was to leave and exit this room, it would uh, checkpoint me with the health that I had. So I need I need to not do that. <clears throat> all right, we do this again. Ba, ba, ba. 
Da. Na, take my time. I can't, I can't have it in my head at the moment, like, I can't hum the tune because I'm listening to this game's music, but um, before I started streaming I had the the long goodbye uh, stuck in my head because that uh, film is very funny. It has, like, one piece of music <laughs> during the entire film. <laughs> It's essentially just a bunch of different arrangements of one song, and it just becomes like a delirious sort of... Yeah, it becomes kind of just a delirious joke, um, kind of halfway through the movie. I was, I was really cracking up with it a lot. Okay, let me see. So, if I... The Shin Goji Decisive Battle Experience. Oh! Oh, balls! I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. So I think this is why I wanted to have this here. I didn't- I didn't realize- I thought it would, might either stop here or on the spikes. I didn't realize it would just keep rolling. So I'm going to... Um, I also had the same experience with, um... There is a film, uh, Sonosion's uh, Love Exposure, which doesn't have this to the same extent, but has maybe about, like, five or six tracks that it is uh, constantly cycling between. And that film is like four hours long and has like six pieces of music, so it becomes really heightened towards the end of it. Where are we going? Where are we dropping? Okay. Oh! Teacher isn't gonna swear. I'm not gonna swear. Uh, people, people that- oh, wow, uh, that didn't get me, okay. That's not true, you said where we drop them, okay. Apparently I did say that, I don't remember saying that. Um, people that stream, uh, do you have- I, I, I don't have a set- I probably should, but I didn't know if there's anything, like, negative to doing this. Um, should I have my channel, my stream set to, um, like, mature, because it's- it's not technically, like, I don't technically have, like, a mature stream, I guess? I just, um, have it set to, um, I think I have a rule set somewhere that you have to be 20. Basically, like, like, graphy stream rules, essentially. You set my ears to mature because you don't want kids. Also, hello, Piro, a rat, welcome. Um, that's, that's what I figured I'd, I'd want to do as well. I just, uh... I wanted to check in with people. <laughs> rat! Yes, Musui is rat also. Rat tubers. I know. Let me see. How many rat tubers do I know? I know several, actually. There's several rat tubers that I know. Graffy is a crass hog. That is true. Okay, how do I how do I do this one? Um, you said you said yours to, to mature because you have an uncontrollable vocabulary. Yeah, um, I I don't really have like an uncontrollable vocabulary so much as like I just don't want uh, I don't want kids in the stream. I don't know how to change that. I don't think mine is, but I am a pure-hearted maiden. Yeah, you are. This, uh, this room seemed too easy. I feel like I cheesed that a little bit. <laughs> Dura 60 lie. <laughs> yeah. We've, uh, we've seen, you know, you know, we've seen it. Oh my god, uh, <laughs> uh, wah, 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 wah. uh, 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 
Can I get any Shamiko Dizzies in chat? Can I get a... Can I get a Shamiko Dizzy? <laughs> no, I don't have Trypophobia, I'm just like, uh, there's so much going on here. <laughs> Shamiko Dizzy, thank you. Thank you for the Shamiko Dizzy. Let's, uh, let's take a look at, uh... Oh, is this bonus? What is this? Big Mama's the boss here. Go under under sorry, underground and see how she moves. Then hit her with the ball. Go underground and see how she moves. Oh, f ah. I've never done a single bonus stage in this game. The bonus stages are <laughs> the thirty-year-old undergrounder. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna tase you. Not in a fun way. <laughs> Undergrunner. So yeah, these, um... How come Dora gets tased before me? Because she's my fucking bestie, okay? And because she doesn't like it. I wouldn't do it to her if she, if she wanted it. I suppose it would if she wanted to, if she asked me nicely. Also, she's a little guy and it's her birthday. Uh, so I can flip these backwards? Yeah, it's it's her birthday. I'm always lying about like when people's birthday is. <laughs> um, it's not her birthday. I have a running bit with Monday where uh, I just keep saying it's Monday's birthday and then just leave as people are just like, oh, Monday? Birthday? Happy birthday, Monday? Question mark? Question mark? People believe you every time because they don't expect me to lie. But they should is the thing. Ah, okay, so I got one. So this is the thing that you do with these is you throw them backwards. Um, and when you throw them backwards, they land in the hole immediately behind you. Um, your birthday is next week! Ah, fuck! Ah! I'm, I'm, I've been so bad with birthdays, like, just, um, in general. Actually, I think, I think that's a bad one. I think I might redo this room. Yeah, I'll just leave and, leave and re-enter. Yeah, I'm just I'm just terrible with birthdays. I've been so bad with like getting gifts for everyone. Wow! Wow! Ember, thank you for the small animal noise. Thank you. Ah, that's fine. Okay, I think uh, I think all I'm gonna do is um. Wow! Greedra, thank you for the small animal noise. Greedra. Okay, I think this is what it wants me to do. Um, this makes sense to me. Okay. No! Ah, That's okay. But I'll see if I have enough left to do what I need to do. So three... I think I... Mm, I think I... I think I just have enough I think yeah I think I think I just barely have enough I think there's like one left over uh, I might be wrong because I think what happens there is yes um, oh my god this stage is so fucking claustrophobic uh, okay good hole management thank you also, there's not so much hole- Farts. Farts! Okay, no, that was bad. That was bad hole management. Because uh, I did have just barely enough, and then I then I wasted that barrel. Uh... Wait, did I- I, I, le I left and re-entered. I should not have done that, because uh, that saved me. That checkpointed me with the health that I have. That's fine. Because there is a- uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm always saying this. I didn't... It's one of those things, I think uh, Dora mentioned this as well, because she says a lot of shit during stream that is just like... I feel like I don't know what kind of stuff I say until somebody points it out. Um, and I feel like I'm similar. I did the same fucking thing again! Ah! That's fine. That's fine. I'm not owned. Um, so I think... Here's my proof of concept for this. Uh, I have... Uh, I need to get out of the way of this thing. So there's three here. These three go here. I drag it up. And then I push it here. And then if I am in this hole, I... Wait, no, I misread this. I misread this entirely. This is the wrong block. It's this one. I need to reset the room again. Wow! Wow! Valerie! Valerie! Thank you for the small animal noise! If some of us do enjoy <laughs> reminding streamers the funny thing that they say, thank you. You, you do a valuable, uh, valuable service. I like when Doro. It's my fa it's my favorite thing to uh, tease her about is um, is when she says um, huh hmm hmm huh hmm hmm huh hmm ah nuts I reset the room oh wait no I'm at full health never mind never mind I uh, I I must be mis must have been mistaken also it's very cute it's very cute I I did the same thing again I did the same thing again I don't need to have that there it's fine. When everyone started saying Watta, I didn't realize they were copying me. Oh my god. It's so funny. I love when Dora curses because it's cute to hear in her voice. Yeah, it is. She's cute. Okay. I can't remember... Uh, Valerie, I think was it you who said that, um... <laughs> the genuine listen here motherfucker gets me every time. Oh yes, Ilya, thank you for... Ah! Ad for to term motherfucker, thank you. <laughs> Those little admin notes are just, uh... They're just for the streamer. They're just for me. I get to have a laugh at those. Oh yes, was it you who said that um, that uh, Musui was watching and uh, picks up a little bit of uh, an Irish accent uh, when when uh, when she watches? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Was I? I got pushed backwards and the what? It just dropped and it filled into the it filled into the hole that I was in. That's so bizarre. I don't think so. Who was this? Who was this that said this? Did I imagine this? Did I make this up? Huh. Who said this? Madigo mirroring. Yeah, I guess. It was Bubby? Ah, okay. But either way, I'm very flattered. Because I think I've said this before, I don't feel like I have a... A very strong um, Irish accent. Critical Cove! Also, wow, that is a bit of a tongue twister. Hello, welcome! I'll start saying a uh, Clitter Grill Cove or whatever. Ah, okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I spent too much time to not. to not do. Um, to not take damage on this. Well, we do it again. That's fine. My evil plan to make everyone struggle to pronounce my name. I uh, hope you're hope you're doing well. I had a really fun time. Uh, I had a really fun time watching your stream. Uh, Charlie did a fucking incredible job on the um, on all the expressions. Uh, she should be real proud of the work. 
Marigold doesn't think she has a strong accent. I don't. I actually don't. It's the thing. Like, I don't, um... It's a very... I, I mean, I do have an accent. Like, I, I won't deny that. It's just... A, it's, a, it's a pretty mild, um... Accent? Oh my god, come on. Buddy. You can settle down. Right. Oof. Hey, do you want to go back in your hole? Okay. Marigold's Irish accent is as strong as my New York accent. Yeah, your New York accent, which you have. You sound like a, um... You sound like a greaser in a Stephen King book. You're always talking about your jalopy or whatever. That's that's what a New York accent is, right? Okay. Okay, so I think I have some some leftover. Ba -ba -ba. Nah. This stage is so stressful. Nah. Oh, nah. Okay. Uh, I can push from here. Nah. Okay. There we go. Toro could literally impersonate Joey Wheeler of Yu-Gi-Oh fame. Uh, I've been saying to- oh, there's a path up there. Uh, I've been saying to Doro that, um, she should do, um, a fan dub of, uh, what was it? We do, uh, we do, like, an old anime, like, fan, fan dub of, um, oh, I remember now, it was, uh, Jabuko from, uh, DIY. Because, uh, you sound exactly like Jabuko. We will, uh, we will save the, um, miserable, uh, profession of anime dub voices. Uh, with your excellent, actually good dub voice. Also, I think Raven mentioned it earlier. Wouldn't have been a bad idea to start collecting these because uh, it's only really matters when I'm um, one off. Because uh, if, if I'm down a quarter of a harsh, uh, I have to backtrack. But uh, I, I think I can start doing that there. Wow! Wow! Musui! Wow! Bubby! <laughs> Thank you for redeeming small animal noise. Thank you! Wow! I love watching these critters become in sync. Yeah. There's something mesmerizing about it. Okay. <laughs> um, my eyes started getting kind of crossed there. Um, so with the sign up there, I think this is right outside the boss stage. We have not gotten a fucking... I. I keep not finding the map. Every single fucking le every single stage, I keep not finding the map. I keep missing the map. Ah. Ah. Um. Let me just dig down. Let me see what's down here. Okay, so we can dig up everywhere here, basically. Um. Need a map to find the map. Yeah. True. Uh, I'm trying to think, what is the best way of going about doing this? This is like Dwarf Fortress Aquifer, is it? Uh, can I do this, maybe? Oh, 
I did this in the wrong order. It's like a Dwarf Fortress Aquifer because you have to dig through the layers. Dwarf Fortress looks, um... I think it is a level of, like, me like mechanical density that I don't think I'd be able to figure it out. Because I like quite a lot of si uh, simulation uh, and, like, systems-dense games, but, like... I feel like in terms of like the interactions that are happening, they have to be centered around the player character. As soon as they start pinging off into too many different systems, that you're like, like as soon as, basically as soon as it's, it like becomes like a management game, that's kind of when I check out because um, I think that's where it becomes a little bit too much for me, maybe. Um, but I'm genuinely like um, impressed. By I'm not I'm not so much impressed or just like I don't know I've I've been enjoying seeing what people have been doing in that game. And it's fun seeing people uh, this game like get its due finally and those those dudes are getting paid, um, which is I always like to see. Uh, let me see. Okay, I think. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. I feel like half the point of uh, Dwarf Fortress is the sensory overload. <laughs> Cabbage. Big Mama's family. The little rats that you've been defeating are Big Mama's children. She's a very protective mother. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> this game hits us with the no rush and all of a sudden. The tables have been turned and are you the one terrorizing small animals? Right, yeah. Fuck me. Okay. Uh, so we do have potion. <laughs> yes, posture check. I will. I will do that. Thank you, Musumi. <laughs> if you have a brain for being a metal manager, but say don't want to work the worst job ever. Oh, middle management simulator. Okay. Posture check is me pulling your tail. Hey, leave me alone. Don't pull my tail. That's you. That's you specifically getting some fan service. <laughs> oh, let me just move my gay little drinks around. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, every single item. This is absolutely useless, by the way, if you don't have the map. But every single item but the map. Let's, uh, let's see what this boss is about. Oh, look at her! Oh, she's fucking resplendent! Wow! So, we can't dig in this ice here. We just bonk her head. So what is, uh, what's going on down here? <gasps> ah! nah. Okay. Huh. Okay. So... I don't know how I interact with her. Do I need to make holes? Oh! Okay, so they can- they can dig across me here. Um... I don't know why- Oh, I do have boulders! Okay. I have boulders. Oh! Wait, I think I know what I have to do. Bah! Yes, okay. Look at her belly drum. Yeah, she's doing pom-pom. So where is she? Ooh. <laughs> Look at her. 
Unless I'm missing something, it doesn't seem to be like a ton going on at this uh, this particular boss fight. Maybe I'm maybe I need to be looking underground. Ah, uh, I'd be able to to do it if I hadn't dug that. Uh, I f I feel like can I leave and do I do this? Does this work? Yeah, let's let's try this because I think I dug too many. Uh, I think I dug too many holes. So I think the only places that are good for me to dig would be like here at these corners. Because I want to leave this and this open. Just so I can uh Ah, that's okay. Ah, I missed, I missed, I missed. That's fine. I think it refills your health at the end of uh, at the end of the stage. But uh yeah, for the people that have uh been, ah, people that join just for this game, uh, our wife and kids have been kidnapped by a poacher, uh, and this is the poacher's island. And yes, kid kidnapped specifically, not poached, because uh, ah, nuts. Ah, this is tricky actually. Yeah, kidnapped specifically, not poached, because he left a ransom note. <laughs> I was like, hey, come to this island if you want to see your kids again. Yeah, they left a ransom note. <laughs> Which is insane. Um, I feel like I'd be able to. Oh, wow, she's so quick. Yeah, I think specifically they said to. Uh, I think they specifically they said to look underground. Yeah, let me let me reset. Let me reset. <clears throat> Yeah, they said to look underground for uh, for where she's going to be, so I'm not going to do that now, actually. Okay. So does this- is this where she- okay, so it is, it is, okay. Was it here that she was? No. Ah. Okay. Okay, where is she? Yeah, it's tricky. Uh, let me see. I feel like if she was there, she would have popped up already. Oh, come on, you bumped me. Okay, so I got her once. Okay. So presumably... Oh, sorry, I have a face mask in my overalls pocket. One second. Let's throw that behind me. Okay. Yeah, I've been wearing a face mask around the house a lot because uh, my housemates... Uh, Hove. Uh, and I think I've been okay. I, I've managed to, uh, I think I've managed to just avoid, avoid everything just by being a shudden, basically. But, uh, cross your fingers. Seems like everyone is doing, uh, is doing okay as well. I don't think anybody has uh, gotten a particularly bad, uh, dose of it, thankfully. Oh, nuts. Yeah, that's in the wrong place for it anyway. Okay, let's, let's go back underground and see where she is. Uh, where is... there she is. Okay. Okay, good. Alright. So hopefully not too much more. Too many more hits. Is she there? Okay, good. Yeah. Let's go. Let's fucking go! Hey, who wants to see the most beautiful sprite art cabbage that you've ever seen in your life? Look at this. Look at how fucking beautiful this is. Let's just enjoy. Let's just let's just breathe this in. 
Hey, your kid's in here. And we get a cutscene. Oh my god! <laughs> we get a unique cutscene, every single one of these is different. <laughs> we got beaned in the nuts. Oh my god. This game fucking owns. Oh. <laughs> also, I'm sorry. I need to have a limiter. If I'm not sure if I spiked too loud there, but yeah, I'll, I'll be listening. I'll be listening back to the the vod of this and uh, making sure that everything is uh, everything is okay audio wise. But yeah, we've uh, we beat level five. Sound fine to you? Okay, good. Glad to hear it. Same. Okay, good to hear. Yeah, I know. Um, I know people have been people mentioned that I sounded quite quiet um, previously, but uh, I boosted my mic volume and then I balanced everything else around that. I think redeem, not redeems. I think um, alerts are still a little bit quiet, and I need to look into like ducking or like sidechain stuff to see if I can. Uh, make stuff quieter when re when uh, alerts play, um, in case there's like a little bit of a like clashing sound of like stuff being in a different key. Oh yeah, your mic sounds great. The stream, no noise in the background. That is thanks to um, a viewer who chooses to remain anonymous, even though everyone knows it was it was her. <laughs> but yeah, I bought a a mic on my on my throne. And another, uh, it hasn't arrived yet, um, another very generous viewer, um, who I'm not sure if they want to be mentioned, but they bought me a, um, a hard drive as well, which, it's an external, it won't, like, it won't, like, affect stream stuff, but it'll make my quality of life a lot better because, uh, I have, my iPad is getting extremely full because of all the way too stupidly big PSDs on, on there. And I get to finally move everything off and uh, get myself get myself a lot more space. So thank you, thank you to them as well. Um, but yeah, oh, posture check. Thank you. That was ten minutes ago. Never mind. <laughs> I'll still give myself a little bit of a stretch. I could do it. Even just seeing posture check on this on this on the on the screen is nice because I felt like I was. Um, I have a tendency for my posture to get worse over time, but yeah, let's start the next, uh, next, uh, next stage. The level select, in case you haven't seen this, is very cute. I don't know, this, the entire game just, like, oozes charm. I'm very impressed with the presentation of it, but yeah, level six. Oh wow, this music. I'm not sure if this is, this is a tune that we've heard before, but this is great. Hey, 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 the Sammy Bros love to play. Hurry and find us. Time's wasting. It's the fucking... It's the titular blowjob brothers. They're here. We've uh, seen these... I feel like we've seen guys like this before. Um, the Sammy Bros, yeah. Yeah, you know the blowjob brothers. You know, you've heard of the blowjob brothers. They're so muscular and oiled for being such tiny sprites. Pixel art is a miracle. Yeah. No, this this game is really, really great pixel art. Yeah, here they are. Look at how greasy these men are. <laughs> oh wait, these I, f I forget this. The way they walk is they they um they they kind of go around the perimeter like that. Ugh, they just phase through each other. They're so oily. Ugh. Their plank, their pl plank, plank length or whatever is like is like nothing. They can just like pass right through each other. Don't 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 correct me if, if that's not the way um, string theory or whatever works. I don't I don't care. Um. Okay. So we have one single barrel. Uh. Oh, actually, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can throw behind us like that. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I think we we essentially. Huh. How do we do this? I 
they approach each other at full speed and just their bodies just slide past each other without losing balance at all. Yeah. Because they're so fucking greasy. Look at them. Speaking of uh, large, um, extremely muscular, oiled men, uh, Dora, Dora and I were watching um, uh, The Long Goodbye, the Robert Altman uh, film starring Ellie Gould, who, by the way, one of the sexiest men in all of film, at peak performance. Um, yeah, speaking of oiled, muscular men, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is just in that fucking movie. <laughs> He's just a heavy that is, uh, that they have take their shirt off for a scene that is fucking baffling, except when you remember the context of they have Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is not, like, you know, capital A, capital S, Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's just an extremely large man who they have for a, the shoot, where it's just like, yeah, let's, let's take our shirts off for this scene. Um... It was that that movie was great. I I fucking love that movie. I've never seen it before, but um, I was very no 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 ah. I I I saw the I saw the happening. It was too late to stop it. Okay. See, I think okay, whatever. I just need to dig, and then I can see what's up. They approach. Okay, I think maybe he here would be a good place to dig. It is literally so smart that you have a way of peeking above ground without taking damage. Like, for a console that literally has two buttons, they straddle your mole nose, yeah. But yeah, for a console that has literally two buttons, um, I don't know. Everything is used very, very well. Is what I will say. Uh, I'll I'll reset the room because I think I know where where I want to dig. Okay. Oh, I think they put so few buttons on that little guy. Mr. Schwarzenegger? Or is there a different, uh, a different man you're referring to? Oh yes, no, I think, I think that's right. I think what I did there is, uh, is correct. Oh, you're referring to the Game Boy. I see. I thought you were talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger's shirt or something. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was thinking. But yeah, you're right. They put so few buttons on that. Okay. All right. Too busy thinking about Arnold. Not my type. I'm not that big a guy like her, but not not remotely my type. I was literally talking about like how sexy Elliot Gould was in that movie, where he like is mumbling and is so fucking put upon and probably like reeks of like cat food or whatever. Ellie Gould is definitely super hot even as someone who isn't generally a big guy like her. Yeah, you get it. You see. So these guys just walk around this. All right. Huh. Okay. Based based on how I'm seeing this here, I can't. Uh, let me see.
The hottest guys in Hollywood are the ones who kind of just look like normal dudes, so yeah. I mean, uh, normal, yeah, yeah, I mean, he's Hollywood normal, like, he's, um, I don't know, like, he's, he's a very traditionally handsome man, you know? I'm trying to think of, like, what else have I seen of him from, like, this era? Something to check afterwards. Maybe I might uh, revisit revisit his filmography for you know reasons. He's in Switchmas. When did that come out? Tastes are exceptionally subjective. Yeah, you 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 tell me. I was no, I I can't talk about my embarrassing brush. No, but... 2012. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm more thinking about, like, 70s, 70s Elliot Gold. I'm more thinking about the vintage of, uh, Elliot Gold when, um, from that insanely, um, sexual, uh, TV magazine cover story where he's, like, having a photo shoot with, uh, I think it's Grover from Sesame Street, where they both are fucking smoldering. Yeah, it's insane! Elliot Gold in the overalls? Yeah! It's fucking incredible. Doro, Doro and I were, I was, I was sending, <laughs> I, I sent her um, a, a screenshot of that, or, or just like some images from that. Huh. I'm think, I can't, I can't pull this backwards from there because uh, that just happens. I need a space. I need a, a two, t a two tile gap in order to pull it back or throw it behind me. Um, let me just reset this room. How am I supposed to go about doing this? I'd throw it up on screen, but every time I've tried to add an image, I, I need to do some like just to get over my my like phobia of like adding sources to 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 screen. I need to just like do some like offline practice with it, because um, I did a bunch of like offline practice for like the show and tell redeem just to get that down, because there's a lot of moving parts to it. Um, Because I need to mute desktop audio as well, because I have, um... Because I wanted to monitor the, the... The browser source separately, without having to, uh, remember where that was, or just, like, dick around with, like, the, the volume on the, um... You saw that on the list, but you got here late, so if you showed it, I haven't seen. Yeah, it's it'll um, it's on like a two-hour cooldown, um, and it's cheap as well. Um, so you'll you'll probably see something else. I might have to. Uh... <laughs> have you seen James Con and Thief Miaza? Yeah, yeah, he's like, I don't know, he has like uh, an intensity to him in that movie. I, I watched that with um, with my girlfriend for the first time um, last year. That's a fucking incredible movie. Uh, I love Thief. You use a plugin that lets you selectively pick audio sources. Uh, I was going to stream yesterday, but I spent I did so much prep time that like I kind of got uh, a little bit upset because uh, audio stuff is like really confusing. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't try to I didn't force myself to stream. Um, But uh, yeah, if you want to send me a link to that audio plugin, or that plugin that lets you selectively pick audio sources, um, I'd have to see if it works with Linux, but yeah. The new OBS has audio source individually now, if that makes any sense. Uh, I'm on um, 28.1.2. I'm pretty sure that is the most up-to-date version. I think Linux is like a little bit behind. Okay, what are we doing here? 
Listen, I was I was well behind before. Like 28.1 is like new for me. So if there's like versions after this, um might be a little while before I get them. Okay. Apologies if I if I miss any chat messages. I feel I'm feeling a little bit I feel a little bit better now, but at the start of the stream I was very uh I started streaming for two minutes and then I had to stop and I had to like get up and walk around for a little bit because uh the chat window was just broken and I I think I, I think I probably sounded a little bit upset at the start of the stream. <laughs> so sorry if I was uh concerning anybody. I'm I'm feeling a lot better now. Once I, I knew it I knew it just because I hadn't streamed for like a like over a week. It would just take me a little bit to get back into it. But um I don't know, I'm really enjoying doing this. This is uh I've been having a lot of fun streaming. Okay. Um, let me see. So I have a barrel. Oh, I wonder if it wants me to... If I throw this backwards... Yeah. That is not what I want to do. Okay. I wasn't sure if the barrel would behave the same way as the weight, but yeah, the barrel follows the, um, the rules of the arrows. So I think... I think what it wants us to do is... I think it wants us to do this. Do it one more time. Mm, I don't want to dig up from there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because this is here, I can't pull this backwards. Uh, yeah, and when I'm in here, the only thing I can do is throw it behind me. I can't, like, step out of the hole and put it into here. The only way that I've seen of, of getting it into a hole, when you are um, getting into the same hole that you're kind of throwing it backwards from, is if something is walking around and bumps into you. Then you kind of drop it where you are. Um, so yeah, I think I might need to reset the room. It's like, I think I've, I think I've messed up here. <laughs> Small throwing it back for real, for real. Oh my god. What is, what is into you lately? You're being so funny. You're being a real creature today. It's normal. Elia, you normal? Uh, so yeah, now that this is here, I think this is this is all this is used for um, because once this is in the corner, it can't be pulled, only pushed. Um, so ah, yes, 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 yes. Instead of going up, but we go down. Yeah. 
Perfect. Yatta. Uh, I think... I think we're doing okay. And we dig... We can't dig there. I think we just make a new hole, that's fine. Nice. These fucking California raisins. Ugh. Dreadful. I hate looking at these. New grounds looking faces. I guess I don't I guess I'm not really familiar with like I think I'm just familiar with like new grounds horny. But like not new grounds, whatever this is. Ego raptor looking ass. I I think I'm zeroing into what you're saying. I just I'm not really familiar with it. Uh, oh, oh, okay, oh, hmm, hmm, huh, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm reading, I'm reading the room now, so, I need to get this boulder here, as soon as I, uh, throw it backwards here, it just, it starts pinging back and forth between these two, and there's spikes on this, and I don't quite, in order to break this block here, I need to have one block behind me with which to do so. Um, but once it gets to here, it'll just go backwards. So I don't actually know what it is that it wants me to, to do. Huh. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just demonstrate that. This is fascinating. Um, yeah, this this game is really cool. Do you know if the um, is 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 the is the three DS eShop still like open? Is that, is, did they close that already? I mean, you can you can listen. I'm not saying three DS eShop is the only way to play this game. I do not have an SNES, but it is on there. Yeah, here's how this works. Shut down? Yeah, I, I couldn't remember if that was shut down or not. That's a bummer. Not a big fan of Nintendo's business practices. <laughs> um, let me see. So what happens... I'm just trying to figure out what is... Let me... Let me... This is the only thing I can think of. Ah! Yes! Okay. There we go. Oh, it, it will shut down? Okay, so it'll shut down this year. Do you know what region that's in? Like, it, it might be shut down already in some regions. So yeah, you have time if you want to pick up something on the 3DS eShop. But yeah, this is on here. If you want something, you know, gaming on the go. Last chance to get Dylan's Rolling Western. Now what is... Sorry. Dylan's Rolling Western? Oh, the payment stuff is probably well shut down previously. So if you have, like, credit that is on there, you can use that credit. What a weird way of going about doing the store, or like the the phased shutdown. Even d putting aside like shutting it down in the first place. Um, Dylan's rolling western. Oh, this is a Vanpool title. Wow, release exclusively. Sorry, I'm just looking at Wikipedia page. Riveting stream content. You're welcome. 
Okay, one second. Payment was before... As of May 23rd, 2022, it is no longer possible to use a credit card to add funds to an account in the Nintendo eShop on Wii U or the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. So, like, if you are... So you can't use a credit card to add funds. Like, is there a way to um, purchase things? Like, on there, if, like, you don't have credit? Like, guess I'm just wondering. May 23rd, 2022, like, an entire, like, almost an entire year afterwards, is, like, a hell of an amount of time to, like, have the store just up. Because, like, to give people time to use the money in their accounts, I guess? I don't know. That's weird. It, it will still... Okay. August 29th, 2022, no longer possible to use a Nintendo eShop card at funds. It will still be possible to redeem download codes until... So it's only download code. Okay. Huh. It's a character action tower defense Majora's Mask Goron game, and it's great, and I love it. Um, Critical Cove. You really wanted to like it, but it's so hard to play if you're left-handed. Yeah, the... I feel like the 3DS was, like... Not a great... Or the DS... Uh, 3DS... Those, that family of systems wasn't great if it was, like, touchscreen heavy. In my... In my understanding. Yeah, not, a uh, Not particularly great if you, uh... If you are left-handed. Yeah, what a weird way of uh, of going about the phased like end of the uh, of the store. Like uh, from August 29th to like March 27th, the only way to is if you have a download code. That's a that's an insanely long time to leave the store up. Oh yeah, Kid Icarus Uprising. That's that seems like pretty miserable. Um, if you are uh, if you are left-handed. Also, I didn't uh, realize you were a lefty, coach new. Sorry, I'm just thinking about a, a, a British journalist saying bit of a lefty. That's some uh, that's some free uh, some free brain da that's some free um, uh, chip damage for people that are around during uh, Occupy, I guess. Bit of a lefty, Christ. I'm just making shapes. I'm not sure what to do for this room yet. Oh no, I crossed it. Ah, my beautiful system ruined. Okay, what are we? What are we trying to do here? Barrel is here. Two barrels, actually. Hmm. So I think I think this one here this thing here is gonna be a bit of a trouble for us. I pre-ordered a 3DS because I was so excited about Mega Man Legends 3 and sold a few months later. Oh buddy. I'm so sorry. Listen, a lot of us were excited about Mega Man Legends 3. Even those of us who uh, didn't and still haven't played Mega Man Legends. I remember Mega Man Legends was one of those games that I remember like reading a lot about it and like games magazines and just being like just fascinated with it as like an object, like just how it looked. Okay, so I think. Oh, piss. I didn't want to do that. I can reset the room. That's fine. But I think I know what I want to do with this room. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to pass. Okay. Okay. And pull it back one. 
Yes, because otherwise what'll happen is um, this is just going to get... I'm going to kick it and it's just going to get stuck there. Uh, do I... I don't... It seems like I have some redundant parts. I never really know what to do. Because I don't really see what the need is for the second barrel. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna come out here, I think. Ah. Gonna get you. Ooh, gonna get you. This is fun. A lot of back and forth. I like, uh, like puzzles like that. Yeah, that, uh, that other battle seemed, uh, seemed kind of redundant. I always feel like I'm doing it wrong if I don't use all the pieces. But, uh, maybe that's right. I just saw the water tiles as upside down walls and my brain just inverted upside down walls? I'm having difficulty seeing this. If you look at the screen upside down, they look like walls. One second. Oh fuck, you're right. <laughs> Wah. Ah, while I'm, while I'm while I'm up I'm on my feet, I'll uh, I'll I'll stretch. <clears throat> it's been forty minutes since that uh, posture check, so you get a freebie. No, Musui, you don't have to. Your points, your buttons. Make it formal. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh, official. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, oiter. Thank you. I have, a, I have a sip of oiter. I do this. Oh, Greedra, I meant to say, I really like your icon on Discord. That's Margo. Margo drew that, right? I saw the refs you posted! Those look really cool! When are you gonna stream? When are you gonna make... When are you gonna stream? I'm gonna bug all my friends to stream. Because I need to see... I don't know, I've been feeling really happy about... About... Streaming. I feel... Energized when I see everyone's cool designs. I don't know. I just feel like my our, our little corner of indie VTubing is so creative. I'm gonna I gonna stream on Tuesday. Ah oh, yes. What are you gonna stream, Musubi? Ah, uh, how do I? Can I- I can't dig through here. How do I- Huh? Hmm? 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 Ooh, blender! Ah, okay, so I dig- yes, I need to- Ah! 
Let me see. Charlie made me a new, very cute schedule image to use, so I'm gonna post tomorrow. I saw it. Everyone get, everyone get ready for that. Also, hang on. Is it? I don't know if I did this correctly, but yeah, follow follow my friend, follow Critical Cove. She's awesome. What are you What are you streaming What are you streaming next? You're playing, uh, you're doing co-op, um, uh, Galactic something? Question mark. I'm looking forward to that. Deep Rock Galactic in an hour or so. I'll be sure to I'll be sure to raid. I'll probably be finishing up. We've been going for like three hours. I want to see if I can finish this stage, but uh, if you're still going, and when I'm finished, I'll give you a raid. And after that, probably Destiny Two on Tuesday. Awesome. Ah. But yeah, I've been I've been really excited to see you get back getting back into uh, into streaming. Uh, I had a blast watching, watching uh, when when I was watching you stream uh, Patapon last. I don't I don't know why I didn't give give that game a chance. I remember reviewers at the time. I think we were like really negative on it. Uh, but it's it seems like a fun it seems like a fun game. I'm glad you're getting back to it too. Uh huh. Huh. Uh, I think I, I think I see what 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 I did wrong here. I shouldn't have pushed this out. I think what I need to do was be here, throw it backwards, uh, and I need to have this hole filled. So I'm I'm just gonna reset the this room. You played Patapon two so much as a kid. I didn't have a lot of PS two games. I had um um Loco Roco. Which is from... Is another... Patapon is like an internal, internally developed Sony game, right? What studio- is, is that like a... Um... Ma! Ma! Thank you for the small animal noise, obviously. But yeah, Loco Roco, um, is that also... The same developer as Patapon? Because I had, I had that. I had um, Metal Gear Acid 1 and 2, which fucking whips ass, by the way. Um, and I want to stream some time. I'm home from driving all the day. I'm glad you're home. Welcome welcome back. Thank you for... Uh, what the fuck am I trying to say? <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Thank you for returning for it to us from the wilds. Marigo TF'd into a snake to play Metal Gear. No, I'll clearly be a fox. Like fox hand. Duh. Metal Gear Acid owns, I just be beat it recently for the first time. I, I watched somebody, it might have been you. Um I watched somebody stream it recently. Yeah, no, that that game owns. It's been long enough as well that I feel like I would not remember anything about it. You were such a fan of the UI elements in the demo, but your parents wouldn't let you buy it? Yeah, that's that's understandable. You're welcome, for you welcome me home from returning out of them their wilds. Them their wilds. Um, but I think I think this is what we want to do. Yeah, yeah, this is what we want to do. Um, 
Da -da 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 -da. And there was an additional path that we can take if we dig. Um, so I want to check out down here. Oh! How do we... How do we get the map? Uh... Okay. So I... Huh. Huh. Huh? Hmm? I'm just trying to map this out. In, in case anybody is unaware, I have an awful sense of direction. Um, which means I'm probably going to be torturing myself for your amusement, playing some games like that. Or maybe it'll be miserable to watch, I don't know. I love games that do really tight and geometric single pixel stuff for the UI. They did that with the Space Invaders uh, Infinity Gene, a mobile group coaster. Is this a, a PSP game? Or are we on a different subject? Ooh! Sorry. <laughs> Need to dig. Uh, let me see. So I think the only thing I can do here is kick it backwards. So I think that is a bad place to have dug that hole. Both of those were iOS made by Taito. I see. These were... Ah. Okay, one second. It, this seems like weirdly tight. Which means I'm probably doing this wrong. Yeah, he followed... No, okay, I forgot. He doesn't walk through there. Okay. The entrance is, uh, is safe. How does this work? Both of these were iOS made by Taito, but their UI did a lot of similar stuff to Peace Walker. Oh, okay. I've only ever... I've only ever watched a Let's Play of Peace Walker. I, I didn't... The I had a very, very small PSP library because the games were, like, kind of expensive. Um, and I think I... I think I came to the system pretty late, but I think for whatever reason I didn't really look around the, um, I think for whatever reason, I think in my area, um, I think it was pretty hard to find secondhand PSP games for whatever reason. I'm just trying to think about why I didn't have a lot of PSP games. Maybe I just wasn't really interested in the system or I was just happy with what I have. Oh no, I remember why. I remember specifically, I, I was, I didn't have any money. <laughs> I think I remember where where I was at when the PSP was uh was was out. Um, but yeah, Loco Roco, Acid One and Two, and the only other game that I remember having was um, uh, Coast to Coast Two Two Thousand Six, uh, which fucking owns that game. That game rules. Um. PSP was also weirdly good for hacking. One of the main things I used my PSP for was running a GBA emulator to play Rhythm Tengoku. Yeah, I, I, I never like hacked any of my consoles. Um, I think I was always like, I am like a perpetual like not not teacher's pet, but just like, like afraid of getting in trouble with teacher and like, teacher as like an as a concept has like changed as I've gotten older. Um, so yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just that, like, I'm, I'm just worried about getting in trouble, which is why I haven't done that. Um, fondly remembering when you can get emulators in the App Store. Uh, my friend, um, got a Steam Deck recently, and she opened it up and it was like, hey, here's an SS, Here, it literally suggested her, hey, here's this SNES emulator. <laughs> so... Emulators are, are back, baby. Oh. Now use the teacher. No, I am the teacher. It's. It feels kind of stupid for me to think about lore, considering I'm like I'm not a person 
the cares or gives a shit about like like roleplay I guess or like not even roleplay so much as just like I don't know like I won't ever be in character but I have been thinking about like what is a good story for me this is probably something that will, like, never come up, and it doesn't really matter. Maintaining kayfabe. Yeah, I never give a shit about that. Basically ever. I feel like I'm going in circles. Um, yeah, I definitely am going in circles. I played Minish Cap on my not-jailbroken phone in the back of high school biotech. Games is too hard already? Yeah. I feel like people that are, like, into, like, our, um, corner of, like, indie VTubing don't really give a shit about, about, about that. Um, and I'm glad, because if that was, like, mandatory or expected, I would not enjoy doing this. Ah! Oh, okay. I thought you were a hand puppet that astro projects into various animals and objects. No, 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 no. Somebody does this to me. Ah. Need to check the Laura Biber. Laura Biber? Sorry, I started saying. <laughs> I started thinking about saying Augersley, and I just said Laura Biber. Laura Biber. VTuber is literally for Sona. People are too weak to admit that. I have a fur affinity account. I'm not too fucking weak to admit that. You kidding me? Uh, one thing that I could do is I've been kicking this. I can push this. But what does this get me? VTuber lore can be cool if you want to do like that. I like Congo's roleplay. Yeah, I feel like Congo is like the only... <sighs> Congo, Sigurd and Bird... Like, there's there's like a couple. Um, like, there's a couple people that like... I feel like if you can commit to the bit... Like, I don't, I don't want people that are like... It's not I don't want people, it's like... It works for me if you can commit to the bit. I'm incapable of doing that, so I'm not even gonna try. Um, <laughs> Congo is the strongest, literally never broken. I'm. This feels weird to say. It's like I, I'm actually a little bit like afraid of Congo. <laughs> Congo is like kind of scary. I'm not sure what it is. He's very nice. I'm sure he's very nice. That's the thing. It's just like he's he's intense. Is is what I, is what I mean to say. Like there's an intensity about the man. I think I think I'm set up correctly. I I can reset this. Cause I did a um there's a redeem on his stream that is like um Is it like killing blow or like uh he will like th threaten you? And uh, I was like I was like genuinely afraid. I was like, holy shit, you went there. I gotta go, gotta shower, and do cleaning. You take care, Bubby. Thank you for uh, thank you for stopping by. He has murdered me so many times. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Show and tell. Alright. Um, just one second. We move over to the other stream. You got all your hair ripped out last, Redeem? Jesus Christ. Scary. Um, became Augersley Calvo. Oh my god. Okay, we move over to other screen. Uh, I want to check my... Uh, also, there's a, um, there's like a VHS overlay I put on this, which is like, I need to read, I need to, to redo this, like this screen here, because I don't know if it's working for me. Yeah, y you can kind of see it in places, but let me, uh, let me go through my playlist and, uh, see what I got. And we can, we can listen to 
a little bit of music to uh, bide our time. What do we got here? <laughs> this is good. Thank you. Thank you, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy you're, you're here for this, um, Critical Code. Um, let me see, mute this tab. Where are we? Where are we? Maybe we pick something a little bit shorter this time. You can just call me Natty if you prefer. Okay, I, I wasn't sure where we were at with like kind of uh, with real names, but uh, that's fine. Available. I'm not sure what to do about those ones. Let me pick something else. Because the way that I'm doing this is I am um, getting an embed link. This scene is so cool. Holly. It's it's Holly, isn't it? Welcome. And thank you. Um, I'm just getting, getting something to play now. Uh, but yeah, the way that I'm doing this is... Rather than a capture, this is a a browser source that is using an embed link. So I'm playing it within OBS because I have a single a single screen, and it is a lot handier to do this um, to do this within OBS. Um, just grab a link. There is a timestamp on this, but I can just that is unavailable as well. What the heck? This did not happen during all of my tests. You get this bowl of VPN. I, I think it's, um, it's like the M, it's, hmm. Yeah, it says unavailable as well. You can't find browser sources on Linux OBS. It is there. Um, if you click Add source, it is definitely there. You might need to up update your version of OBS because I didn't have this until I updated. So you might just possibly need to uh, to update. One second. Might be something weird about the way that I'm doing this as opposed to the last one that I got. Cause yeah, it keeps saying video unavailable, video unavailable. Why is it doing that? Is it because the embed maybe? Some videos have settings to not be watchable outside of YouTube. If you're testing with that in the link from the start. Um Yeah, but I did test these before, and uh, it wasn't working. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer. Um, one second. You're on 28.1.2. That's the same version I'm on, so I'm not entirely... <sighs> it says that that is... Um... I really don't want to have to do this as a... Capture. Um, it wouldn't be the end of the world if we have to do that, but. Uh, 
Actually, let me let me let me check one thing because I want to test with something that I know works. That is the thing that we watched just earlier. Why did that work and everything else didn't work? We are waiting warmly. Oh, thank you. Okay, I've, I did find something that works. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is um, next time this is, uh, next time I stream, I'm gonna have like a backup capture. Um, Cause I don't like, I, I, pref I, prefer, I prefer to do everything within OBS. Um, so yeah, the embed thing was kind of a workaround to save him from having to capture Firefox. Um, but I think I think I have a link. We'll find something. Let me just make sure it does work. Okay. And it is still saying it is unavailable. Why is that the case? Oh. <laughs> Gosh, only ninety nine, nine hundred ninety. Oh, so the um, uh, that redeemed the pull my tail. That'll be reduced in price. It'll still be pretty pricey. Um, I haven't quite figured out what I want it to be, but I basically need to draw um, my proper real um, model uh, first in order to actually uh, to do that. I think I might just have to. Um, I think I might just have to add a browser source. So I should probably make uh, an incognito window. I'm glad I figured out, um, uh, I'm glad I figured out, um, sorry, my brain is not working, uh, cropping <laughs> within, uh, within Linux, because what Linux was, what my, what I was doing before was it was just moving the window around when I alt and clicked, and that was a behavior of my OS. I had to turn that off, um, so I'm glad I figured that out. Just one second, I'm just gonna grab something and I'm gonna pick one of the longer ones. It makes sense because uh, I feel like I've dilly, dilly dallied around enough. I really need like a burner YouTube account with no history because it is a pain to uh, not be logged in. Oh, that just started playing. Dilly and dally as much as you need. Thank you. I always worry a little bit about like taking too much time to get stuff put together. I know nobody's gonna be. I don't know. I'm very hard on myself. Uh, let me see. Studio mode. Just checking something real quick. Ah, okay, so I don't have to move. If I engage studio mode, it just holds it. So I'd, I've been switching it to a different scene and putting studio mode on and then going on to a different scene, but I can mess around with my sources now. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, capture. 
Gow! I'm being impatient. Gow! Greeter is cute, so Greeter is allowed. Um... Hmm. I suppose you're allowed, Ilya. I suppose. Window capture temp. not the cleanest. Let me just, uh, where is this again? VHS overlay. Move this down. Yes, okay. So I need to change the title of this. getting used to OBS. Still feels vaguely terrifying to do anything with this uh, with this program. Now why are you here? Hang on. Why are you on two lines? I think it was something to do with the way I copy paste it. Is. You always struggle with OBS. Glad it's not just me. <laughs> uh, Norm McLaren. in the right spot. Yeah, not not the cleanest thing, but it'll it'll do for now. Okay. Uh, so we're going to watch uh, an experimental. I guess experimental. I don't know. This this is something that I feel like people were doing a lot in the forties. Um, this is uh, called Spook Sport. Um, it is from the 40s. It is an animation that is like painted on cells uh, and is directed by Norm McLaren and Mary Ellen Butte. Um, and it is set to, it is set to um, Danse Macabre by uh, Camille Saint-Saint. Um, and one second, let me just mute. And we can, Sorry, one second, let me just turn off 
the lights, we can dim the lights a little bit, and we can press play. Oh, it's muted. There we go. Let me know if uh, everyone can see this. Uh, can people still see it? <laughs> awesome. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can. You can move. You can move. You can sit up with the front. I love this part here, because it looks like a Game Boy manual showing all the different creatures he'll come across. Let me just check. 360. Oh, let's get some... Let's get some 720 up in here. I'm simulating you uh, moving closer to the screen, um, Musubi. the way it looks when like the colors are like overlapping each other the additive blending yeah this is just, as far as I can tell, this is just painting on cells, like an actual, um, like film strip or something. Like there's a lot, there's a lot from like this era. Um, and there's a good, a good few examples of it that I do have to show off. Um, Think about like syncing this up with music, like back in the forties. How would they even? How would they even done this? Look at this bell. This bell is the most insane thing. Look at look at this. Whoa. 
all the ghosts line up to uh, go into the ice cube tray. something about these that look actual 3D, like it's an actual prop or something? I know it's not, but like the the, the skull drums or whatever. This fucking scary guy that looks like it'd be on an ecstasy tablet. Or like a rave poster or something. They're uh, going back into the grave as the sun rises. But yeah, that was uh, that was Spook Sport uh, from the nineteenth from nineteen forty, uh, directed by Norm McLaren and uh, Mary Ellen Butte. Oh wait, there's a thing at the end. This insane logo, it looks like it's a uh, dot, the the dot, uh, whatever, whatever that thing is called. But yeah, that was, um, let me just uh, put the screen on. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Pointillism. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> but yeah, thank you. Thank you for bearing with me for uh, technical issues. Um, but yeah, the, I'm <clears throat> uh, happy to get to share stuff with you folks finally, because I wanted to do uh, Discord um, like watch alongs of stuff. Um, and obviously I'm not gonna like show full fucking movies in here. Um, that's I'm gonna save that for, for the Discord um, when I get my uh, PC up and running. But uh, yeah, this is this is something that I'm happy to share. And thank you, Valerie, for for redeeming. We uh go back to game for a bit. Um, I want to see if I can make some more progress, and um, and we'll probably finish up in maybe about half an hour or so. But um, I'm I'm having fun. I'm really uh glad you could all glad you could all join me. But yeah, we go back to uh, the game. Where's my controller? It would help if I had the game up. Okay. All right, what are we what are we working with here? Yeah, I'm glad I have a redeem. <laughs> I redeem that like people can um, interrupt what I'm doing. I don't know, it's it's fun to like get out of my own head and uh, play. It's fun. 
don't know. I'm having a lot of fun doing this. <laughs> you thought you missed your chance to see moles? No, not at all. I'm I'm still going. That's um. So that redeem is um. A twice a twice per stream thing. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Sardus, for the uh, small animal noise. Definitely taking notes. I haven't set up any of my redeems yet. Yeah, I um, I had to think about it between uh, this stream and, and the last. There's definitely more more that I want to add. Um, I definitely... I, I don't know if I... I, I, I don't know if I have enough time. Like, I'm maybe like a two stream a week kind of person. I think is, is how I'm thinking about it, just because of my job and stuff. Um, because like I do work a shift rotation, it does make it pretty hard to like stream the times that I would like to stream. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely don't think I could do the kind of like redeems that I know Doro has, where she will stop what she's she will do she's doing and just like play a game. Also, I I don't think there's like a game that I've come across yet that I'd be kind of, um, that I would like add into the rotation for that. Cause I, I do want to, um, try to finish a lot of, finish a lot of, um, finish a lot of, uh, games on, I'd like to finish more games on stream at least. Uh, but yeah, let me, let me peek. See, so yeah, I think, I think what I did here was, I'm gonna wait for this man's to uh, go past me here. But yeah, streaming streaming is really fun. It's been nice to uh, get out there and meet new people. I feel like I haven't done much of that in a long time. It's nice to nice to get to do that. Uh, da, 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 da. Ah. Nah. Okay, I think I had the right idea the last time. Oh, I think I think I remember what I think I I reset this. I'm glad you're enjoying it. They're fun to watch too. Thank you. I I have a lot of fun watching your streams as well. Hmm. What is? Let me see. Um. <laughs> Meeting people, scandalous. This is a. Uh, this is two tiles wide. Uh, which means I can't do the, um... Essentially, I need to get- I need to get this here to break this block- break this block. Um... Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Nadia, do you have like a you should add like a redeem to add some um I don't know, like a fucking Jimmy Buffett sandboard on your stream. <laughs> or 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 would that be like hell? <laughs> Not like his songs, obviously, because you just get DMCA to hell and back, but like um The Man. His words and deeds. You're thinking about downloading a bunch of Jimmy Buffett midis. That sounds awesome. Think they're a fun way to really personalize streams yeah yeah absolutely it's um i get a lot of ideas um 
from seeing my my friends the stuff they they make. My friends are are very creative. Ooh, pull up a rhythm game you like and play a level for it. That sounds fun. Yeah, I've been. I f I feel like. I feel like I'm good with what I have now. Like, there's a lot of ones that I want to do that are more that are very dependent on. Like the pull my tail thing, is very um. Like I need to draw my my actual model first for that. Like my mar my marigold, my base form, and not this creature that I've been turned into. Your channel points icon is so cute. Yeah, I have um. I'll post the um, uh, the large size of that in my Discord. By the way, um, if you uh, are not, um, there's no obligation, of course, because there's too many Discords. But if you would like to uh, join my Discord, there's a link there as well uh, as my Twitter. I previously I only had my throne and my Discord, but I forgot that like people get raided into here, it is not just my friends and people who know me from, like, Discord. It's other people <laughs> that are new to me now, which is fun. Um, but yeah, I'd, I sh I'd need to add my Twitter on there. But yeah, if you want to uh, join my Discord, there's the link there. Um, but I'll add the... Um, I'll post the picture. Uh, I'll put it in my... Um, One of the things that I'm really happy that I did... Oh, what is the, lar the large size of this? I can't remember. I think it's this? Yeah, one of the things that I'm really happy that I did is I added a, um, a show-and-tell room uh, to my Discord. Um, because I wanted to... Um, I want to I wanna see what people are working on and get to see like creative projects. Not even just like art, just like in general, kind of broadly kind of stuff you're proud of that you worked on and you want to show off. Um, partially inspired by uh, Graphite Hello's Discord. It's like one of my favorite Discords. Um, has like a room like that where people show off show off the stuff that they've been working on. I don't know, I feel like people are, are really, really creative in in this community. Yeah, if I'm in a good few. If you need invites, Nadia, uh, let me know. I can, I can hook you up. Yeah, I drew- ah, piss. That's fine. That's fine. I'm still figuring out how to do this. Um, but yeah, I drew the the buttons. I drew those at 500 uh, pixels squared and scaled it down. I think I'm just trying to take a dryer- I'm, I'm gonna work on the, um, the bit badges and the subscriber emotes next. Uh, I kind of want to see if I can just take a dry run at, um, at, um, Oh my god, I'm not thinking straight. Take a dry run at, like, um, emotes. Because I don't know if I'm going to, um... I might commission somebody to make them. Yeah, I, I might need to commission somebody to make them, or I might be doing them myself. I don't quite know, because, um... Emotes are really difficult for me. Um... I think partially because, like, I am too much of a perfectionist. And... Yeah, it's, um, my brain breaks whenever I try to draw emotes, that slice is so tricky. Yeah, yeah. I kind of, I wish that there was a way to, um, <sighs> let me see. Actually, hang on, hang on. No, there is a way to do this. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. Uh, I, I have a really bad tendency of doing that. Um, I, so I, I use Procreate, um, I was before my hard drive died. I did have um, Photoshop, which I was stupidly paying for. Never again. Fuck him. Fuck Adobe. <laughs> um, or Adobe or whatever. Um, but yeah, there, there's there's a way that you can do like a picture in picture kind of thing. I think the thing that I like about um, using Photoshop is you could have like 
a uh, little preview window up in the corner that shows you what you're working on. It's, it's not quite, it'll show you what you're working on scaled down because it doesn't emulate the actual scaler. It just shows you like a preview window. So it won't show you what it'll look like all kind of scrunchy, but like I do tend to work larger. I think Doro drew hers at actual size. Um, but uh, I think she was using like a pixel brush or something. That would actually break my brain if I was to draw these at actual size, because I I draw too big. Like even when I'm working on like um, partially why I I liked getting or partially why it's so necessary or partially why I I really need a new um, hard drive is because um, my iPad is like almost full of like Procreate sketchbooks and my my Procreate size slices are too big. <laughs> I wouldn't quite say 4K by 4K, um, but when I was doing like icon commissions, those are two 480 pixels squared. I do not need to be drawing icons at two 480 pixels squared. I, I, I think I recognized at some point that that was silly and like you were losing so much detail um, that was just being squished down, but like. Drawing pixel art at actual size is so fun, but it's a dying art because websites don't uh, respect pixels anymore. True, true. Yeah. What was this thing that you were talking about recently with uh, WebP? Because I feel like... Or it was WebP and Animated PNG, because I feel like Animated PNG wasn't... I think there's like literally one thing I've seen that supports animated PNG and it might have been... Oh, it's literally the thing that you're looking at right now. That's an animated PNG. I'm an animated PNG. Hello. You thought I was like a gift tuber. But no, I'm an animated PNG. Yeah. Also, nobody says gift tuber. <laughs> yeah, this is this is animated PNG. Yeah, the um, it's it's two frames, the idle, and two frames for talking as well. How did you do that? How did I do? How did I do which? Um, I can explain. I can explain it afterwards. Um, or not afterwards, but like I can post because I feel like it'll be a little bit. It'll be a little bit easier if I kind of like showed you the um like the working file that I have. You're wondering how you animate the frames. Um, so what do you, you use? Do you use like um, Clip Studio Paint or do you use Procreate? I can't remember which, which you use. Use both, okay. Um, well, I use Procreate, um, mostly CSP right now, okay. Um, I think yeah, because when I was when I when I switched to mostly iPad, um, when my hard drive failed and I was without a Windows machine, um, I was like pretty despondent. I was like, oh, I can't do anything until I get um, I can't do anything until I get a new computer, which I haven't gotten in over it'll be three years at this point because like my brain has not been working and a, a, a computer is like a big purchase. Um, that I always get like brain blocked over, but um, the um, what was this? <laughs> mm. Brain no worky. Yeah, long, 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 long story short, I think seeing Graphy talk about using Procreate, like the pro, the the Graphy drew her model in Procreate was like, oh, I can also do this in Procreate. Like I don't, I don't need like Photoshop or whatever to do this. I mean, I do, I do, I would need. I don't think there are any good like Linux live two D things, and also fuck trying to learn how to do live two D. Um, But yeah, I think both seeing that Graphy used Procreate to draw hers and also seeing that like 
so many people were doing cool stuff with like um ping tubers it was like okay maybe i'll just do this instead you get live 2d you are a brave a brave source you're you're stronger than god and all his angels <clears throat> You have a live 2D model, but I made a 3D one because fuck trying to do live 2D on Linux. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's that is the problem, or one of the problems. Uh, I'm going to uh, get up and stretch my legs and get a, another glass of water, just real quick. Uh, one second. One second, I'm just reading chat. Um, part of me has been thinking about shifting to live 2D, but also I kind of just love the the ping tuber vibe. Yeah, I I don't know. I I really I really like. I mean, just just. I know I, I know I keep talking about it probably every stream, but like just seeing what Amos does with like ping tubers, ping tubing stuff is like I could play around. Like there's there's so much stuff that you could play around with uh with ping tubing. Uh, I did live 2D once, and as much as I want to redo it, I'm scared to go back. Uh, Holly, your 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 live 2D fucking owns. It, it's so good. <laughs> Um, Kojinu, I just stuck to ping tubing because making 2D art is all I know how to do, and I do not know how to make things move properly, so I just did simple mouth look at screen animations. Yeah, yeah, that's one way to do it. I think as well, I saw Cerebro, um, Cerebro streamed, and he had like a model that looked quite a lot like Hotel Dusk. And I did not realize that you could do, like, two, three frames. I didn't realize that you could have, like... I think the reason that, like, I didn't I didn't do, um... Or I didn't think about doing ping tubing for, like, a real long time was, like, I thought it was just... And you can make this look good, to be, to be clear, but, like, I was less interested in... Or I didn't know how to make... With my tool set, I did not know how to make something look visually interesting if it was just, like, a single talk. Uh, frame because I thought that's all I thought that's all you you could do with it um, but yeah the fact that you can have like like a single frame like two frame animations so yeah um, what I have here at the moment is essentially just I have a document um, within procreate. So Charlie, do you know how um, do you know how like the animation uh, assist works in Procreate? Oh, 
no, god no. Um, it's, um, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take a screenshot of, where is Mole? Where did I put her? Where is she? Where is she? I haven't seen any of your others, but the mole PNG is so good, the little flyer. Thank you. Um, this is probably like the... Each one of them has gotten better. Um, I've had three so far. Um, does it give you a, 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 an onion skin outline? It does, and you have the options. You can you can mess around with the settings to like um, change how many of of uh, how many frames it is giving you to show like the previous ones. Um, but yeah, you go into one second. Like the um, on this screen here, the end screen. Oh, that's not this one. The screen. Uh, this one here, the please wait warmly, that is something that I, that I drew in um, Procreation. So yeah, if you go into the cog, and where it says canvas, yeah, canvas and then animation assist, you, t you toggle that on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Soleil, welcome. Hello Raiders, welcome. Q QP, Philius Goodman, Nilly. Got a close up of work. Thank you. Oh, Kochinu, you take care. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you for the <laughs> I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong screen. <laughs> I'm sorry, we were playing um we were playing Mole Mania. I was I was just explaining um uh, how I animated. Uh, but yeah, uh, shout out to uh shout out to Soleil. Uh, what, what were you doing? What were you up to? Welcome, writers. Uh, we're playing Mole Mania. We're just taking a little bit of a break at the moment. Having a bit of a chat. Thank you for teaching me, Marigo. G gotta go to stream now. Yeah, I'll, I might be uh, might be joining you in a second. We're headed out. Thank you for a lovely stream. Yeah, you take care. Um, but yeah, we're, we're playing uh, Mole Mania. We're probably going to go for another 15-20 uh, minutes. Um, and... Uh, Probably going to be raiding my friend, my friends uh, Charlie and Nadia, who were uh, just left us just now. Uh, they're going to be playing Deep Rock Galactic Co-op in a bit, so I'm looking forward to watching that. But yeah, uh, thank you, thank you everyone for uh, for joining. My name is uh, Marigold. I am. I will be your mole for today. I'm not always a mole, but I. <laughs> I have this thing where I play games and I get really excited about them and I make a new PNG to uh, commemorate, I guess. And uh, I end up using them long after. Because um, I played a Banishing Racer and I was a car for quite a bit after that. Oiter. I'll have an oiter. Okay, I'll take a sip. Wow, okay. Let me pull up the game. Um, so I'm just going to reset this room, uh, and then I'll briefly explain the game for the people that just joined. Um, so basically, in Mold Mania, um, what you're trying to do is... It is kind of a Sokoban-like. It's, it's basically like a block-pushing, pulling game. Um... I'm trying to get this boulder here to break this block here. Um, the spikes I can't walk on, um, but in just a second I'll just show you the main kind of mechanic of this game is I can dig underground. And underground I kind of have free movement over areas that are empty spaces, but obviously I can't uh, go over these kind of uh, brick blocks. And I have the ability to I can see here, yes, I have the ability to peek my head up over the ground, um, so that I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> take care, Ellie, I need to get out of VR. You take care, Slay. Thank you for the raid, and thank you for stopping by. Um, yeah, I'm gonna peek up here. 
So yeah, currently going back and forth on this one, because I don't quite know what to do yet, what it's asking for me. But we'll see if I can figure something out. Okay, so I can't do anything there? Okay. Whenever there's a um, place where you can't uh, peek up or hop out of, it'll just you just bump your head like that. Um. Okay, let me see. No. Ah, we got hit there. That's fine. to get him. I think I said last time, but this little mole dude is an incredibly charming character for a Game Boy game. All his animations. So good. Yeah, if you um, if you look on Sprider's resource, this game has been ripped. Um, incredibly charming uh, animations. Um, just like if you look as well, there's... is this? This is Dig. Okay. If you, if you do the push animation and if you don't have anything, like next to you, you kind of like you go to like he goes to push and then he like falls over a little bit. I don't know, I'm I'm constantly finding Banishing Banishing Racer was like this as well. If you never played Banishing Racer, you should go play that one. You should, you should download it and go play it. Um similarly charming, just in terms of like the animations and stuff like that. Like there's so much character and charm put into uh, uh the front the front facing one as well. Like the animation for when you are underground and you go to dig up, but like there is something in the way where he like bumps his head and he makes this face. Like, that's just great. Um, there's another animation for... let me just show it off here. Yes, Shamiko to see. Uh, there's another animation for when you are above ground and you go to dig. And the eyes. <laughs> and it's fun because he kind of twirls around a little bit and he goes to the opposite. So if you're facing... and if you're facing away... I don't know. I, I just I just think that's I just think it's neat. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going we're we're full on going in circles, so I think this is not this is not working out. Um So I wanna try something a little bit different. Like the puzzle kind of constrains you in terms of like what your abilities what what you have at your fingertips at each uh, at each step so it's just figuring out what to do differently this time that we didn't do last time because I don't think we did this the last time ah yeah I think we got it that's it there we go I'm just going to walk around him. Uh, this guy will uh, replenish our health. I think we're doing okay. Patchy, patchy, patchy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the patchy. Uh, I think we messed up with the... with the. Yeah, I think we can just reset this room. But yeah, uh, other thing about this game. Uh, really, really gorgeous um, uh, Super Game Boy border. I don't know. I, th I think the... the um, Really gorgeous palette, especially on this this particular stage. There's something really charming about like the underground section in comparison, to, like how overblown like those those cyans and those oranges. Compliments to the chef. More please. I'll have more of this. Um, let me take a little little look see, little looky loo. So yeah, we're. Once again, same thing as before. We're just trying to get this uh, this boulder over to break this block here. Um, we have these um, 
these barrels, which we can use to... We can push or pull these. And whenever one lands into a hole, it fills uh, it fills a hole. Uh, these weights can be used to fill holes. Um, they can be pushed, but not pulled. Um, so yeah, we're trying to... I'm just trying to visualize how this works here. Just wait for this guy to go past, and I think. This stage is so summery. Yeah, the, the color palette in this stage is, uh, is beautiful. It's really nice. I think I want to reset it because I think where I have it at the moment is yeah, yeah, I can't I can't do anything with this in this configuration. Let me just make sure. Uh actually, actually no, I think I can. Let me let me see one second here. So if I dig up here, throw behind. Okay. No, I think I think I'm still yeah. So I can only push or pull it within this. Okay, or push from 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 the other side because you can pull those uh, those rocks. Uh, okay, back to the previous stage and okay. I think it wants us... let me see... Okay, I'll wait for, wait for this to go back. Okay, oof, just, just barely... figure out where where exactly because I was thinking I might be able to um, get this out of here but I can't because I can push it into this corner but I can't pull it so once it's in this corner that's the only place I can put it uh, and if even I push this up here to get it to go in here, um, it would just have this beside it and there'd, there'd be nothing to push it from. Um, I 
Let me see. I feel like I'm just playing with my food at the moment. Yeah, and of course that's gonna happen. Yeah, okay. I keep forgetting this guy can walk over holes. Okay, let me just reset. I think that guy is up there that'll be able to refill our health, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want to kind of burn that as a resource just yet. Okay. So yeah, I was thinking... <sighs> Let me see... Because yeah, there's no way that I can push this out of the way, because as soon as it is uh, pushed down into here, then the puzzle is uncompletable, because while I can get this guy out of the way, the only thing I can do with this is slide it back and forth, because once it's against this wall here, there's nothing I can do to push it out of it. Um, let me just confirm, yeah, the below ground looks the same as the above ground. Uh, let me see. Apologies if it's uh, super obvious for uh, for everyone else. If you do see a solution, uh, I'd like to see if I can give it another uh, couple minutes before I ask for help. Um, I feel like I've been doing pretty pretty good pretty good with this game. The puzzles feel very uh, it's cute. Thank you. Or I guess not. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, no, I agree. I agree. This uh, this game is really cute. Ooh, ah. Sorry if that was loud just now. Yeah, so I can't push this out here. It's cute watching you struggle. Oh my god, it's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Musui. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm glad. <laughs> oh my god, you too. Take it take it to you know where. So yeah, there's, uh, there's, basically, there's no way of pushing these out from here. I'm gonna try something. Um, that was not what I wanted to try, but I can just uh, fix that just by doing this. That was not what I meant to do. That's fine. I can, I can reset this easily. I can also get rid of that guy because that's that was making my life a lot harder. Um, okay, this will just... If I throw it backwards, it'll just... Tink off this. Is there... Let me, let me try something here real quick. Um... Yeah, there's there's no Yeah, once it once it's, I I don't think I can do this puzzle if I push this down there cuz that's all I can do is end up sliding it this way and there's no way of pushing it up. Uh, hmm. 
Let me see. Actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. If it if it if it does get pushed over there. Yeah, once it gets into the corner, and that's the only way I have of getting the boulder around it, is if it was in the corner, and I can't push it out from there. Yeah, I think let's just reset it. Very nice thing about this game, uh, a quick reset to uh, get the puzzle back to the way it was before. Very good puzzle design. Yeah, it's smart. No, this game is like really smart. And the way it saves as well, like it it feels like it's um very much designed around like 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 I, I can see myself playing this in a car ride, like like oh I'm going with my mom to the grocery store or whatever. Like I'll play this for like 15, 20 minutes and put it down, I can like, it, it checkpoints you, like, very nicely. Like, it, it checkpoints you, like, for solving a room, like, you save, and, uh, it'll kind of, uh, put you back where you started. I don't know. It's, uh... There are a lot of evil Game Boy games that do not give you that... that do not have that affordance of, uh... of, um, smart checkpointing. But, uh, this game is, uh... is... is nice in that regard. So yeah, I can't push this one out this way, because as soon as that one isn't there, it's in the corner. And you can't pull them out, because um, you can only push them, you can't pull them. You can push from another direction, but you can't push from here, because um, it's against the, the wall. Um, so yeah, it looks like all you can do... Hmm. Hmm. This is literally a head scratcher. I'm literally scratching my head right now. I'm stuck. I got nothing. I think it's less I'm stuck and more just I'm hungry and my brain is just not working. Yeah, I think we might might leave it here for now. We have been going for a little bit over four hours, which is uh, about about as long as I usually stream for. I think the longest I've streamed for was like five, five hours, but I think I need to have more than, uh, what did I have for dinner again? Instant curry, uh, rice in a pot. It was good, but definitely, I don't know. I only get like a, a two hours out of that thing. I need to have a bigger dinner. Ah, okay, one second. I'm just gonna, gonna make a, Save, level select, yes. But yeah, it saves saves our progress. Let me just uh, peek, peek ahead. So level seven, level eight. So I think maybe 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 two more streams, depending on like how how tricky how tricky the uh, the last like the level the very last stage might just be a boss um, like a boss battle uh, might not be like a full. A full, um, a full thing. I definitely want to mix it up a little bit soon. Like maybe the next stream might go back to um, uh, Super Castlevania 4 because I would like to make some progress in that. I'd like to get back to that and finish my first uh, Castlevania finally, because I started that all the way back in uh, my first stream on the 30th of October. The 
because I was trying to see if I could fit in something for the classic Vaney challenge, and of course I didn't. <laughs> I do need big sleepy dinner, that is true. Because I would like to, uh... <clears throat> I guess I'll be up for another little bit. But, uh, let me, let me make a save state, because I, I know this game is... saving. I'm just a little bit paranoid about losing all my progress. Oh. It seems like the capture disappeared briefly. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's move over here for, for a bit. Um... And yeah, we, we'll, we'll see the new, uh, this is the new Just Talking screen. Uh, it looks exactly the same as the old one because I made it out to look exactly the same as the old one, but it's, uh, it's built a little bit simpler now and it has a slideshow functionality. Uh, all of these I made in Procreate as, uh, as bespoke frames as opposed to doing everything in, in OBS. So I can see, yeah, it goes through all the all the fan art that i have um and thank you thank you everyone so far who's uh who's been drawing me um but yeah uh i mentioned my friends um critical cove nadia my friend nadia um she just started streaming and she's gonna be playing uh i think battle rock galactic co-op uh, with Charlie. So yeah, let's, uh... Let's... One second. More mole. Oh, Flushy, I'm sorry. Sorry if you just joined. We're, uh, just going to... Uh, we just finished up. Um... I'm just gonna see... If my friend is live. And, uh, then we're gonna just raid. Sorry, I'm just waiting through an ad. One second. Oh my god, Twitch is so fucking slow when you're streaming. Oh, there's another one. My god, I thought Sorry. <laughs> I thought I had it muted. I thought I had the fucking tab muted. But yeah, uh, she's playing uh, Deep Rock Galactic. I'm going to... Slash Raid. Critical Cove. But yeah, uh, no, no raid message. Um, just, uh, just say hi, and uh, yeah, I'm going to switch over, and I'll join you shortly. And oh, that is the wrong screen. There's an end screen. I need to draw an actual end screen. But yeah, thank you for joining, and I'll see you later. Bye.